It's time to carve us up a witch on Bad Movies Rule, the worst movie podcast ever created. And today we're going into the woods in a lonely cabin with the Reverend Charles Hewitt. I'm here. The Doctor Ryan Madela and the Manimal Bob Hauser. Uh, Let's go! Right. I brought my exorcism kit. In case you need it. <laughs> For, yeah, how do you keep getting into these movies where people are getting yeah, possessed, like Constantine know. and now yeah, Evil well, Dead? Why too? not? I mean, you know, got to talk to the scheduling <laughs> assistant you <laughs> hired. Right, it's something about me. I think I see yeah. the movie and I go, Charles is on. I got to be on it. Yeah, for sure. Say something about me? <laughs> no, not at all. No, so we're coming just possess us after. Yeah. <laughs> so we're coming back for Pulp Exorcist with Russell Crowe with Charles. Oh, is that a movie? <laughs> it's yeah, it's out. What's it called? The Pulp. The Pope's Exorcist with uh, Russell Crowe. The Pope Crowe Exorcist. Exorcist. It actually for the Pope. To, it made money. I mean, Pope. a little bit of money. I think it made seventy-five million on a thirty million dollar budget. All right, but it got a six on an IMDb. Sounds like Let's a perfect BMR movie <laughs> for Charles to be part of. Yes. Also, I do like Russell Crowe. <laughs> oh, he's awesome. Thank you guys for joining us. For those of you who don't know, we are a primarily a roasting show. We're going to go through the movie scene by scene, and we talk about B movies or movies that got bad critic scores. Or stop. Y- yeah. Where's Gina? <laughs> She's right there, dude. Right there. Don't Thank worry. You. I kept Thank her you. right in front. Except that this movie doesn't count. <laughs> well, it, this is what I would. Why I want to get this out right off all the right, bat. All okay. Right, all right. Because you might be going, well, why are you doing Evil Dead Two? Because the ratings are off the charts, and we'll go through those in a second. I actually panicked last night that I watched the wrong movie. <laughs> is there another Evil Dead Two? I'm like, this, can't this be thing's it. got great critic reviews. It's seven point <laughs> seven. I made the highest we've yeah. ever reviewed on this. It's up there for sure. But here's the thing. The other qualifier for the show is box office return. And this movie lost money at the box office. Uh, And it also sometimes is a judgment call. And it definitely feels like a low-budget B movie. I think Mm -hmm. they did a lot with what they had. But I just like the decision we made with Tremors, the original one, because we're going to do the whole series. It's about dirt worms, and yeah, it's highly rated, but it's definitely a B movie still. Sure. So that's kind of where we're at here I'm with Evil good. Dead Two. Right. And ultimately, we just want to talk about it. Of Hold course. <laughs> what you said? It's a fun about movie. Dirt worms. Dirt worms. Aren't all worms dirt worms? <laughs> no, you can have pinworms right, that come fair. out of your butt. Oh, that's, oh. Fair. that's fair. <laughs> Thanks. There's all kinds of worms. Your fault that he brought that up. Is there <laughs> a just story? Was, <laughs> uh, just a podcast I was listening to. The lady mentioned pinworms. I don't oh, know. Oh, gross. Yum. That sounds Wonderful. like a good time. So we're <laughs> Come through. Actually, did you know the poor in the South back in the day had issues with worms getting in their feet? In their feet? Yeah. Ugh. I can't remember what kind of worms they were, but it caused like mental issues and stuff. Or feet worms issues, yeah. cause intellectual issues. Yeah, I mean, generally worms in your body cause problems. Well, the South actually has a lot of diabetic problems, and, they're all not, and the only thing that's rising down there is their cholesterol. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> not the gene pool, though. <laughs> no. Well, let's dive into, now that we know why we're talking about Evil Dead 2, we're going to tell you some of the vitals here and get you through this thing. The movie was directed by Sam Raimi. A Sam Raimi. Very famous director yes. now. At the time, not really. No. He had uh, made Evil Dead 1, which we've skipped over here for purposes. Super but, confusing. Yeah. A little Are we bit. We're going to get into that. At yeah. All? Well, we will okay. for sure. Did you see Evil Dead One? No. Never? Maybe. Okay. I don't know. I think you did. <laughs> well, you, I think I did see Evil One Dead. <laughs> okay. The, well, they just retconned it in Evil Dead Two. Yeah. Right. Which is why we skipped it because essentially the first seven minutes of this movie is Evil Dead One because Evil Dead One ends when the evil attacks Ash for the yes, first time. I read that. That I'm yeah. like, okay, it doesn't really make sense, but I'll accept it. So that feels why maybe the beginning's a little rushed through what happens with yes. the girlfriend and stuff. Mm. They're just catching you up on one basically. Okay. In the way like Rocky would start with the last seven minutes of the of the previous movie almost. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then the rest of it is the sequel essentially. Right. Or like Halloween two kind of. Yeah. Oh, another good example for sure. It's a great example. So Uh, Sam Raimi obviously went on to direct the Spider-Man movies, Spider-Man 1, 2, and 3, the best Spider-Man movie out of the bunch of them. Absolutely. Who doesn't love Topher Grace? (laughs) Dude, Topher Grace, emo Peter Parker. Absolutely. You got to thank Sam Raimi for that every single time we get a chance. That's, uh, who's Peter Parker? That was Tobey Maguire. Was Sam Raimi's. (laughs) I don't want to be Spider-Man. I'm worried about being Spider-Man. She's going to get my girl. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, you've seen them. That was yeah. almost perfect. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. By the way, they're gonna get her whether you tell her or not. You might as well tell her so she doesn't. So she knows why this weird. That way green she could take. Attacking she her. take self defense classes. Yeah, seriously. Something. I yeah. did like the upside down kissing. How about a heads up? That was unexpectedly wonderful. I'm like, yeah. this shouldn't work, but it does yeah. work, and I don't know I've why. Never tried that. Well, give it a shot. 
Once my wife's knees, knees heal, we'll... Uh, <laughs> no, you some... be the one hanging up. Yeah, there you go. Oh, that's right. She just has to stand there. I just, well, I don't know how well I do upside down. <laughs> Get one of them them suspend chairs. Perfect. Let's just <laughs> skip people good, too. I want to hear more about yeah, this. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Movie I was... got an idea, honey. <laughs> <laughs> the movie was written also by Sam Raimi and Scott Spiegel, co-wrote it with him. Uh, movie starred Bruce Campbell, Sarah Barry, Dan Hicks, and Cassie DePeva, and a bunch of other people. No one cares about those You've people. You've never really heard of We just, just care Bruce about Bruce Campbell. Campbell. I know. You're right. You're <laughs> not wrong. Don't even read out the rest of the list. Okay. I'm sorry I even said the other person's name. <laughs> in retrospect, that was a mistake, Is so I apologize. actors in this movie? There are. Uh, the budget for this movie was $3.5 million, which was way more than they had for the first one. And the box office was only $5.9 million. And the theaters keep a chunk of that. So ultimately did not break even no. on the box office. But as Charles said before, 7.7 .7 on IMDb. 88% yeah, Rotten Tomatoes. 88's when I panicked. 89% audience <laughs> score. Seriously. So critics, fans, lockstep yes. on this movie. Strange. Did you don't they... really see that often. No. Yeah, not anymore. <laughs> did they like catch up on the investment later then? I'm sure it's made its money now. Okay. I just didn't know like how we always say like know, if you don't like make it on the box yeah. office then it's game over but Well, these movies back then had a leg up on making their money later than than now. It's harder now because there's not the DVD home video VHS and DVD sales were huge That's for true. studios. Yeah to make up the cost that they didn't get in the box office. Movies like this relied a lot on the drive-in circuit. Oh, that too. Yeah. Gotcha. But oh. man, I know people, even in the 90s, the first time I saw this movie was at a, I was in theater in high school. I was one of those kids. And we had a cast party, a rap party after one of the shows. And it's, you know, it would go till 1 a.m. or whatever. And the about the craziest thing we would get, talk about getting turned up at a high school party, we'd be like, Turn on Evil Dead 2. And wow. that's the first time we ever saw this. <laughs> yeah. And so somebody put it on, and then people would go buy their own copies because, like, that was crazy. And so mm -hmm. and that's probably how the movie made its money back. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Had you ever seen this before? Yeah. I'd seen all three, but I hadn't seen this one in a while. Okay. And I forgot how it starts with the first seven minutes, like you said. And yeah. I was like, what the hell is this? <laughs> <laughs> They have like 80 minutes. The movie's 84 minutes long, and they got to burn through it, man. They don't have a yeah. ton of time to do that. Uh, and so with those scores, I, you know, I don't know what the reviews were when it came out. Obviously, a lot of that is you know, maybe recency bias and the way that it's grown in popularity. But unfortunately, we don't really know at the time what the reviews or the ratings would have been. But I'm excited to dive into this anyway. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I know you love it. This, <laughs> it's not your favorite movie of all time, but it's up there for you. It's, it's definitely in my... I would probably say it's number 10 in my top 10 list. And so it made the top 10. Yeah. I know since you were a young man, you used to have a giant 12-inch... Uh, Ash, Ash doll. Ash doll. Yeah. With it, with like the chainsaw and everything. Yep. Yeah. We have a much smaller one now, and I don't know oh, if you can see it over here. Look at that. I added him up to the front nice. of the table here. So we got a smaller one. But yeah, you've been a fan of Ashley Williams for a long time. Dude. It, it's and what's great. not to love? What's not to love? He knows how to handle women. <laughs> Bob, this is why you had only one girlfriend like coming out of high school yeah this only the one ash williams method wasn't working for you yeah it didn't yeah it didn't ironically work. for a horror movie there was no actual sex in this movie. yeah right did the for first an did 80s the horror original movie. Is evil dead have one did it i don't remember if there was i think, I think I there was a brief one. but it wasn't it was you didn't yeah. see much i've seen that once a long time ago really you should yeah. watch it again should i it's you'd like it better than this oh what? what? <laughs> <laughs> a strong bull word. Wow. All right, we're starting. I'm not good. saying this is bad. I'm just saying. Well, like I'll tell you what is bad. This podcast. So you, thank man. you guys for listening to Bad Movies Rule. We're the worst movie podcast ever <laughs> recorded. We don't do any research. We don't. We just roll in and react. And so we're really grateful for those of you that have been with us for the long haul. And if you're a new listener, welcome in. There's all kinds of ways to connect with the show. You can email us at thisshowistrash at gmail.com. We have mailbag seconds. We'll answer your emails here on the show. You can also join our mailing list by going to our website, badmoviesrule.com. We send out the list every month along with a newsletter. You can stay up to date on all the happenings with BMR. And then besides that, the, really the bedrock, the foundation of BMR is our Patreon community. It's the thing that has really allowed us to build just an awesome group of people that support the show and allows us to put out more and more content. And so if you'd like to be part of that, you get access to like three at this point coming up other podcasts besides BMR, Good Movies Rule, On the House, The Horror Reels, hosted here by Ryan Madeline. Oh, we're wife. doing a horror spinoff. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Him and Lauren nice. are going to be doing it. So it's going to be all available on our Patreon. You can sign up for as little as three bucks a month, man. So go on there, patreon.com slash badmoviesrule. You'll support the show and at the same time get all kinds of tons of tons of content. 
So we appreciate you guys listening, and let's uh, let's dive into Evil Dead Two. All right, Ruby. all right, and <laughs> I don't know, oh, that was good. Ah. Was good. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> the movie starts ah. with a voiceover <laughs> and some screaming. And this voiceover talking about the Necronomicon. Of course. Ex Mortis. I'm like, I knew it was going to be good dead. as soon as that comes up. <laughs> the face on the yeah. front of it is bound in human flesh, I think they would take, they would say in later later iterations of, I know they don't say it in this movie. Yeah, they but say I it's say like made from human flesh or, or something. Something like that, like yeah. later on. Because it eventually was a TV show they did on Stars for three seasons. It's mm-hmm. so good. Called Ash versus the Evil Dead. I think it was the first time I heard that it was bound in human yeah. flesh. But yeah, so the whole, every Evil Dead movie revolves around this stupid book. And no matter what they do, they never can like get it through their heads like, don't read, don't the, read book. the book. Right? But they always are constantly, and I know it's a book that like I would probably read very easily because it's mostly pictures as they flip <laughs> through it. Right? They flip through it. I'm like, oh man, these Pictures demons. are kind of alarming though. <laughs> a little bit. Like if I'm looking at that book and going, Probably not going to read much of this. No, I'd close it. Is there an audio version of this? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, thankfully, because dad or grandpa or whoever is like, hey, let's read it. Thankfully or unfortunately, yeah, there no. is an audio Depends version. Depends how much you want the ah, demons to come out. Yeah. So yeah. audiobooks ruin the universe. Yes, right. right. They did. They do. Uh, the movie starts with Ash with Williams and Linda, his girlfriend from Michigan State, I think, based with, on her jersey she was wearing. With the greatest hair of all time. The 80s hair, man. It looked like she got off a motorcycle. That thing was like... <laughs> <laughs> Rolled up windows and it, inside yeah. the old. Was that an Oldsmobile or an yeah. Yeah, or? yeah, her hair was like a Darth Vader helmet. Yeah, it was. It, was, it, was like, it just stayed. It just went past Darth yes. Vader, went to Lord Helmet. Yeah, it was it, just yes, like, <laughs> Lord Helmet. Yes. Perfect. It really was. I looked at that. I mean, I hardly ever knew his hair, and I'm like, what is up with her hair? And my wife's like, I don't know what's Guys, going on there. I'm ready for 80s hair to make a comeback. I love everything else made a comeback. I don't know, man. That's a lot of work for the ladies. Leg warmers. No. A lot of teasing. A lot of hairspray. A lot of hair Bathing spray. suits over yoga pants. I'm not complaining. <laughs> You're right. They would have their workout clothes and then like a one piece on over it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The one Uni- piece song Uni- of greatness. Unitard? A unitard. Yes. That's right. Don't lie. You didn't. You watched the Jane Fonda videos when mom wasn't around. Bob, you stop. You're being a unitard. Now. <laughs> <laughs> and and so Wait, what if I did? I and was so watching. Uh, I I was mind watching, your business. <laughs> I was watching Richard Simmons. Did I do that wrong? <laughs> <laughs> this I is, guess it's whoever like, your mom would do the tapes for, right? Like, I didn't go buy the Jane Fonda tapes. My mom did. If your mom was doing Richard Simmons, yeah, then I guess I liked what are you going to do? Yeah, All right, boys. so Ash and Linda are driving out to the cabin in the Oldsmobile. It was an 80, was it a 78? 88, Olds 88, I think. Olds 88, okay. And... Uh, they go over the canyon. I love how every scene you see the canyon is all in claymation. I'm like, that's definitely yeah, not a Hot yeah, Wheels yeah, yeah, yeah. going across the, the bridge <laughs> there. But they had to have a gorge. They probably couldn't shoot at a real one. So you do what you got to do with the budget that you have. <laughs> it looked pretty good for what I it was. I thought so. Yeah. They were filming this in North Carolina. It was believable enough. Yeah. Well, that's two cool things I know that came from North Carolina. Yeah. And apparently it's a De Laurentiis production somehow, too. Dino financed this? Yeah. Oh, man. Who was he's he was an agent or guy for uh, Schwarzenegger? Big time, yeah. He was the guy that Schwarzenegger uh, made so angry yeah. he almost didn't get a job again yeah. after that. Yeah, yeah. Red Sonia, he's like, That's I'm it. done with I'm done with this guy <laughs> after this right. movie. I was supposed right. to have a small part, and you put me, you made me the movie. That's right. Yeah. He was a who's that guy? Like, what does he do? He was a producer. Big okay, producer. yeah. Big he producer. Uh, did a couple of the Halloween movies. I if, think it was Halloween okay. two. He did. Yeah. If you go gotcha. back and watch, I know we're getting a little off track, so I'll make this quick. But if you go and watch the, there's an Arnold documentary on Netflix. It's in three parts. It's about his bodybuilding career, then his acting, then his government uh, political career. It's really good. In episode two, which is his Hollywood career, he tells a story about how his first big meeting ever, he's like done little parts at this point, is with Dino De Laurentiis, who's a little Italian guy. Yeah. And he walks into the office and he goes, why does such a little guy need such a huge desk? <laughs> <laughs> he gets kicked out. His, awesome. Arnold's agent was like, what is the matter? He's like, that's the <laughs> fastest meeting I've ever had. <laughs> it was like, Arnold didn't care. Uh, right. You know, but like, yeah. And obviously, <laughs> they did yeah, he's a puny yeah. little man right. on a desk. Uh, so there's all kinds of great stories. Go watch the Arnold documentary. how big Arnold's uh, 
governor desk was. Probably huge. Probably huge. I'm, I but he's a imagine. big dude. He's, he's got De La Renta's desk. <laughs> he spent I want most De La Renta's of his t- desk now. <laughs> he spent most That's of his right. time in his smoking tent. Yeah. It's probably <laughs> give me the Italian man's <laughs> desk. Give I want me, it here yes. tomorrow. I'll show him proportional. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, they go straight to the piano. I mean, again, this first seven minutes are going quick. He's at the piano. He's playing. Linda is dancing. And immediately they're trying to get to the business because it's a horror movie. And so he goes and embraces her. And she's like, oh, I'm wearing a necklace. And then we see that there's this little like magnifying glass looking shaped necklace that she's wearing, which I'm only calling attention to because it becomes a running thing throughout the movie. And then right after that, Ash is like, well, baby, how about you go for a little bit of the bubbly? That's literally <laughs> exactly <laughs> how he does it. <laughs> Start singing, pom pom. Dude, he's got that mad riz. What is he she going to say? No, no, look at his face. Look at him. He almost knocked her out with his chin. <laughs> <laughs> she was helpless. There was absolutely no way that she was saying no you to You couldn't Ash impregnate Ford. a whole village with that chin. Just with his face. <laughs> yeah, just with that face. As she's going to change into something more comfortable, Ash goes into the uh, back room room where he finds a recording like a tape player old school real real yeah real to real where he's like panasonic good ad ad placement for them this is uh this looks interesting (laughs) play uh and it's the voiceover of the old man who had found the book of the dead and the book of the dead is sitting right there there on the countertop of this desk he starts flipping through it he starts flipping through it and he's like we found the book and i'm like okay press stop like immediately i would already be like that's enough (laughs) And if we read from the book, the demons will come. I'm like, okay, that stop right yeah, especially there. Especially that like, part. Right? Yeah. <laughs> he tells him what's going to happen. He tells he him what's going to happen. He just keeps listening. He got caught up in the book. Then the guy's like, and now I'm going to recite it for you. <laughs> the pictures were really amazing. I mean, there was like a, a torn up person with butt yeah. cheeks on it. I mean, yeah. that's that's enough of a for me to Good keep reading. Good foreshadowing what's going to happen in this movie. Now, here's the thing I just want to say about Ash. <laughs> because this is why I think he's such a great character. Ash is super capable in very certain things, Mm. but he is an absolute idiot. If you want him to restock a staple shelf, he's got it. He's well that, (laughs) but he's guys like him and I need heroes. No, no, (laughs) but you know what I mean. Like he's absolutely cracked at fighting deadites. Like for some reason, he has this very specific skill set. Absolutely, he can fight demons and deadites very, very well. But in other aspects of common sense in life, he's an absolute moron. Yeah. And half of the time, it's that idiotic Id- idiocy that gets him into trouble, mm. whether it's in the sequels with him reading the words or not really reading the words. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I said it. <laughs> oh, I said it. I got it. I got it. I right. know your damn words. <laughs> so in this case, he just sits there like, no, oh, this is probably fine. I think it's pronounced ADHD. <laughs> hey. Is hey. That it That's okay. <laughs> the, well, I mean, you might wonder if it works on a tape recording or not. I guess that's true. Yeah. Uh, it, well, we found out that it, it does. does. I wonder if they actually did try to turn off the thing in one of the later installments and it kept playing. I don't know. I don't know either. That would have been the way to do it because then you're like, these people aren't completed. Patrons, let have, us know if they did that in the later installment. Have the tape play itself, right? Yeah, people of the internet, yeah. let right. us know. Let us know because we suck. The, uh, <laughs> <laughs> the evil, as soon as he reads it, now the way that Sam Raimi represents the evil is through a first-person camera yeah. of this thing just coming through the woods. Weird noise. He took what John Carpenter yes. did in the first Halloween movie with the steady cam of the POV shot yeah. that Michael did and literally just ran no like no pun intended ran it like, right. obnoxiously. It it's just great. it's like a camera on his head. Yeah. Okay? And he's just running around through the woods to- but it works. It works yeah, great. I think it was super effect. effective. Yes. yes. Very. Yeah, it was good. It goes straight to the window. Yep. Window crashes, she screams and it cuts to ash. Linda? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Linda? Boom. Walks in the walks in the room and you're just like, huh. Yeah. She Forget she the condoms she dove or out the window. <laughs> oh, weird. Huh. Okay. Maybe she forgot to call her mom. So he goes Strange. outside looking for her and he finds her, but she's already possessed and zombified and coming at him yes. like with her arms out and everything. And this is what I'm talking about with him being cracked. My guy falls down and one shots her with a shovel. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know how hard that would be to cut yeah. someone's head off with my a shovel? My family, we rewind that. My wife and I <laughs> and my son were watching and we're like, wait, well, did he use a shovel? Yeah. Because we're like, that's pretty pretty impressive. Sounds it's like a flat edge shovel. It's a the sharp biceps shovel. are for show. These are for dough. The triceps ah, are for dough. Okay. Bro, he doesn't, be cu- it's all power. He mm-hmm. didn't cut it off. He just knocked her head off <laughs> with Dude, a shovel. That was fueled. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> that was fueled by everyone knows what. That's what I'm saying, dude. 
<laughs> he's uh I think he got reported immediately though. She was like, <laughs> he's cheating, he's cheating, he's definitely cheating. Can you imagine the the talk show the talk show uh cheaters was there following the girl around to see something like that Remember happen? That guy? <laughs> yeah, the bad mullet slick back. That gullet guy comes out and he's like, All right, man. Um <laughs> I didn't expect it to go this way, but we need we need to all sit down and talk for a second. Her head's just on the ground going. <laughs> I can't believe you did this. Yeah. Yeah. He he ends up burying her in what looked like a burnt up amber, amber pile. Right. Is, it am, like, is that the correct term of the burnt up wood? Like the amber, like, like oh, yeah. charcoal? Amber pile? charcoal. Yeah, like a charcoal, charcoal. amber yeah. pile. Right. Ash pile. No pun intended. Ash, Ash pile. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. Which button is it? It's the red one. Nice. For you, Kurt. <laughs> <laughs> he, uh, he okay, so he slams that thing into the into the or not that thing, but he makes a cross headstone and slams it into the ground. Yes. <laughs> At this point, we've now caught up. Go ahead. But he does the. I mean, he does it. He lifts it over his head, yes. and there's the bar is behind his head. And like he's gonna hit himself. <laughs> you imagine if he just. This knocked, is what like, I'm saying. You imagine if he just Ernest P. rolled himself. <laughs> he, in face. He's not. He's like a step away from being Ernest. I, I half expect him to knock himself because he's a moron in every other aspect oh, of his life. I think that was a missed opportunity. Related though, because. You look at uh, um, Jim Varney, scared stupid. Oh, yeah. sorry. And same situation. Like <laughs> right. uh, they pulled the same thing in the show where he reads off the book, Without. almost like yeah. if I put my hand here like this. Trantor. Right. And it just that's what I'm saying. These guys are lovable, and I love them. I'm not ripping on the guy. It's part of I think what makes him an enjoyable character is how stupid he is. We need it. We should have had a Jim Varney, Bruce Campbell team up movie. Great, dude. You dude. Ernest for Ernest and Ash. First. At this point, <laughs> the evil comes around him. You just see Jim Varney doing the run. <laughs> and he's like, <laughs> 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 all right. So at this point, the evil uh, Sam Raimi steady cam is coming at Bruce. It picks him up and takes him through the forest Seriously. about eighty miles all an hour. Over as he's spinning, yes, he's doing three sixties. Yes. He's he hits a tree going eighty. Yeah, he's fine. He's was well, possessed by that. <laughs> that's Demons all, that's give you some strength, apparently. <laughs> That's true. I forgot about that. I wonder how that works. Change is there like a face? force field around you when you have, or yeah, just, I don't know. It's, it's like in your skin. It's like playing Assassin's Creed and jumping off the t- highest point in the game, and you just smash into the ground. You're like, all right, I'm good. You're like, I'm fine. There was an inch of hay here. Dust yourself <laughs> off. <laughs> inch of hay. So I'm okay. No, see, I I might give it to the possession aspect if it wasn't a theme throughout the entire movie. Well, yeah. Of like some serious Home Alone things happening where people are just. Things that would kill them. Yes, they just get up and shake off constantly. Well, it's pretty obvious early on. There's a slapstick element to this whole. Yes. Genre yeah. Yeah. For sure. Comedy genre horror and big swings. I, I love how almost everything is acted way overboard, and Bruce was game for it. Except when he cuts his head off his girlfriend. It's like no, sh- or she's possessed. Like no emotion. <laughs> That's true. He kind of knows. He's like, all uh, and we're all like, he doesn't. Care and I'm like, well, he's probably PTSD going on here. He's I like, guess I'll bury this on? monster. And I thought he was like the shoveler from Mystery Men. Yeah, that shovel, me, perfect, dangerous. dude. I shovel well. I shovel, I shovel well. real. Yeah, I love that guy. <laughs> I know, but you know how hard you got to swing a shovel to Seriously. knock someone's head off yes, with it. Pretty hard. Clean, clean. Yeah. If we know a shoveler out there, let us know. But what I mean by the big yeah. swings, like he flies into that tree. That's how that's been for you, decapitating people. <laughs> <laughs> he flies into the tree. It's like kind of filmed in a really big, like almost cartoony way. Then the huge dive into the puddle. <laughs> blah, right? I'm like, I kind of love how overboard the whole thing is. And the bubbles coming up. And each shot is perfect. Dude, I don't want to know what they put in that water to make it that color, but he had to breathe it <laughs> under there. And then he comes out and he's possessed. He's like yes. got the sunken eye sockets and he's like... Mm. I read that the, they put those opaque white lenses and they were totally blind. Oh, could you so imagine? they had to like how? really practice the moves like later when other people are moving around. Yeah. So that they wouldn't like fall oh. over stuff. Could you imagine how That'd terrible that would be? Yeah. And your eyes would be all tore up afterwards That's terrifying. and terrifying. Oh. And it was also super hot apparently while they were oh. making this movie. North Carolina, yeah. dude, if it's not, you know... Yeah. January, it's probably yeah. miserable down there. Yeah. Also, the same town where they made Color Purple. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah. Isn't that weird? <laughs> like, <laughs> isn't that that's uh, who made Color Purple? Famous guy. Oh. Uh, Spielberg. Yeah, Spielberg. Spielberg. So you got Spielberg down the road, and you got Sam Raimi doing demon stuff. Yeah. I've never seen it. And I like this one better than the other one. Yeah. Well, <laughs> Color Purple is a good movie, but it's sad. That's good. It's, it's a, just a. It's bummer. a horror movie in a different way. That was Danny Glover and Whoopi Goldberg. Right? Such a uh, well maybe. put statement. Yes, a horror movie in a different yeah, way, right. for sure. Yeah. Um, he saved from being possessed because the sun sets 
Is that what happened there? Because like, the sun rises, sunrise. the sun comes out, and he's like, "Oh!" Because I think Ash even goes, "Oh, the sun scared him away." Yeah. For now, I really like the reverse <laughs> fog as it goes back in. I thought that was very creative. When, when the trees suck their vapes yes. back in. Yes. <laughs> like, yes. Yeah. They had a whole yeah. team yeah. of vapors and smokers, <laughs> mainly <laughs> smokers, if vape wasn't around. And inhale. <laughs> inhale. I think I, I think I like that scene because we just watched Red Dwarf. You guys know Red Dwarf? It's yeah. a British TV uh, show. sci-fi, old '80s sure. through now. Actually, yes. but There's a whole scene where they end up on a reverse earth really and everyone's backwards all the time they talk backwards they drive backwards they move backwards they eat backwards so the food That's comes weird. out of their mouth and so tenant stole that from red dwarf like i don't i don't want to see when they're going to the bathroom <laughs> oh, that's the last scene in the show actually they don't show it but a guy oh. like, don't go and the poor don't cat go. stands up and he's like ah horrified <laughs> by what just happened to him it's great oh, it's an man. excellent Wonderful. it's a great show red dwarf I think go watch, watch red dwarf yes. yeah um as he gets up out of the puddle and the sun has driven away the evil for a second all of the I don't even know this, but all of the dirt and mud had collected along his jawline. Yes, and his, jaw and his cheekbones. And his cheekbones, because they stick out so far, it's like a shelf to catch mud. <laughs> Can I just say, last night when we were watching this yes. together, I was I was actually kind of nervous. I was I was worried about you, James. Dude, you were like way attracted okay, to him. I'm not attracted. <laughs> the man's cheek, but not in this picture we have up on the TV. But the man's cheekbones, in just standing in the room. Cast a shadow on his own face. It's true. Of awesomeness. Okay. It's true. How defined would your cheekbones have to be to cast their own shadow? That's pretty impressive. That's what I'm saying. There's you no know, way she was saying no. You know people, actors and actresses in Hollywood are getting their cheekbones sucked out so they can look more like Ash? Just like they, wow. they, go, really? like, give me, they go, give me the Bruce Campbell. Give me the Bruce Campbell. Campbell. Okay. The man, yeah. at that point, he does this big exaggerated motion to wipe the dirt off his chin. And I just needed a shot of like a basketball sized <laughs> glob of mud <laughs> flying onto the ground. If only it was a Mel Brooks movie. <laughs> <laughs> perfect. Like a naked gun when he wipes the side of his mouth and the half a banana falls. The big tall guy. Oh, on the That's other side. It would have been boom, freaking perfect. All right. So he gets back, or he, first of all, he's like, tries to escape, then drives the car, but the bridge is out. The bridge is out. And this is. Ah, no. <laughs> yes. It's almost like the director goes, all right, now you're going to get there and the bridge is going to be out. Can yes. we have a kind of a big reaction? Yes. It's like his third big reaction so far. <laughs> Bruce did not let <laughs> no. him down. He was like, I'm going He's for these. hitting the hood. Yeah. <laughs> ah, no. We just needed a little bigger. A <laughs> little bigger. A little bigger. And then the claymation. Yeah. The claymation. <laughs> yes. Perfect. Perfect, dude. But his reaction without the claymation, just his body, yes. and then switching the claymation because he how he was acting, Look. it it looked pretty legit. Well, the whole movie, he's live action claymation, pretty much. True. Bruce Campbell. That's a good, is, yeah, right. That's a good way. To he's play very it. good at physical comedy. Physical yes. Stuff. Yeah. I love the fact that he, he showed up for his friend, Sam Raimi's his dear friend, and he was game for whatever. And it looks like the kind of performance where he just said, Sam, I'll do whatever you ask me to do. And he gave it 120% he did. in he every did. scene. Yes. And it doesn't work without that. Nope. At all. Because the whole thing is ridiculous. Yes. He has to match the ridiculousness yep. with his It wouldn't have worked if he tried to be, play it straight. No. No, no, not at all. Not at all. He uh, he sees the evil come up over the bridge, and he's now driving in his olds back to the trying to get back to the cabin. And man, <laughs> yeah. that a short day, was it? Because the sun's yeah, already yeah. What's back. going on on that? That's it's fall, what I was man. Say for it's sure, fall. it quit. It's fall in Michigan. It's daylight savings time. Dude. Absolutely, <laughs> <laughs> lost a whole hour. What I'm the trying heck to, like, happened? Give, I just woke up. <laughs> I'm trying to give the movie credit, and I'm like, well, he was kind of sleeping for a long time, so maybe it was just about oh, dusk. And he's that's a good point. Back. He could have just woken up at yeah. like six at night or something. I think like it was that. just bad. He hit that tree. <laughs> Pretty hard. Or maybe it's just the evil makes everything dark. Oh, that's maybe. true. You're on evil savings evil. time. <laughs> yeah, evil savings yeah, time. Night savings time. <laughs> he go. He stops. I couldn't tell if he hit a tree or whatever. He ends up going through the windshield. Yeah, that was crazy. He's fine. He's fine. <laughs> <laughs> you know those old cars? You can go through those windshields, <laughs> yeah. no problem. Yeah, they didn't have actual problems <laughs> killing people horribly with like steering columns going through chests. No, there was no recalls. <laughs> they made cars back then to last and kill the human. That's now they right. make cars to kill the car and save the human. This is true. Yeah. This is true. Yeah. But they don't look as cool. No, That's the problem. no. Can we get ones that looked as awesome as that car? No but save people's lives? They have to be able to do it. Right? We have the technology. It's like they're just <laughs> choosing to give us boring cars now. Yes, they do. Right? Yeah, they do. Someday Electric. creativity will come back to car manufacturing. Well, how much sheet metal do you think in a new car versus old car, though? Oh, There's probably um, five new cars per one old now. If not yeah, more. more. Yeah, more. Yeah. <laughs> well, just make it out of plastic like they do That's anyway. True. That's right. That's going to be cheap. Perfect. Yeah. 
Um, he's end up, he ends up getting chased from the, he gets up, he shakes off the glass from his windshield <laughs> is being chased in first person through the thing. The bro starts just knocking down doors. He just, he just puts his arms up, <laughs> blasts right through the door. She didn't need to, you could just take his chin and just take the doors down as he goes <laughs> through. That's what you he runs see. behind, he finds it, like he just immediately runs behind the wall. Now he's in between he's the He's like studs. inside a wall being chased by this thing. <laughs> And he ends up ghosting the ghost. Yeah. Right? Like he just <laughs> hides in the corner. Hides in the corner under a lampshade or something. The ghost you know? pulls a 360 and is like, well, I guess he's gone. He's gone. We'd never find him. Bye. <laughs> we'll see you later. I'm leaving. Bye. <laughs> Cable guy it. Cable guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. Now we cut away from that for the first time to a bunch of people we don't care about. Annie and Ed <laughs> have just flown into some airport somewhere. Yes. And man, is Ed a loser? Is this guy a loser? He just is like, hey, let's go to the woods and read from the Necronomicon. That's a good idea, right? <laughs> and then after that, we can uh, bathe each other in oil of a lay. <laughs> I think he misunderstood the Necronomicon. I think he thought it was the Kama Sutra. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there was some, like I said, there was some Kama Sutra points to the Necronomicon. <laughs> Why are they flying in to drive into the woods to read about these? The well, her, it was her dad that was working on the book. Why, Why did they do that? Why did Evie open up the Book of the Dead in the Mummy? She Why? had to go somewhere to get it and bring it back, and then they were going to work on it together. In in a remote cabin in the woods. Yeah, that's sounds where it likes that's to work. How, if I was well, me, if I was Ed, I'd be like, "That's how horror movies start." Well, they don't believe in it, obviously. <laughs> obviously, but even <laughs> even Dad, they were discovered on some archaeological dig. Yes, and they still brought it back to the woods of yeah. Michigan. Well, I mean, it's if that's your place, that's your place. You know I, mean? I just want a yeah. shot of the dad being like, "Okay." I'm going to fly 14 hours to get to my cabin. I'm not going to crack this book until I get there, though. Right. <laughs> no, what, can't do it. <laughs> Would you imagine doing that on the airplane? Dude, yeah. get, dead get eyes all through the whole that airplane. That could make a good movie. <laughs> That's the movie we need. That's a good movie right Dead now. It's on an airplane. Dead. Where's yes. Sam Jackson? Where's Sam Jackson? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sick. And print the money. <laughs> yes, seriously. I am so sick of these mother effing dead eyes on this mother effing plane. <laughs> yes. Let's it's, blow holes in this bitch. And someone right. can say, well, at least it's not snakes. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> then Ash shows up in the plane. And he's uh, like, right. He's the pilot. He's the pilot. Yeah. Oh, Everyone ever thinks under control. No, no. It'd be funny if he was like a steward <laughs> perfect <laughs> that's right he's a stewardess um, it's like oh man i'm trying to get away from this <laughs> shoving peanuts in the air would be safe. Space. <laughs> i just hated ed he was like <laughs> sniffle ed, i just ed was, ed was, ed was not the world's crappiest well, bangs nor played very well and i don't know if it was because he's in this movie with this guy that sucks all the machismo out of the yes. atmosphere into himself Could but be. it just made him seem even lame every right. guy he, that was in the movie had low testosterone yeah. in the presence of ash he had uh <laughs> he did have a members only jacket on it's that's what i'm saying yeah, it was nice he you liked those I mean, sure, why not? My dad had a members-only jacket. That was the jacket you wanted. I know, back in the yeah. day. I think I asked this question about eons ago. What in the blue hell is an only members jacket? You don't know what members-only was? It's no. only it was for like members. jacket, dude. and it had a little <laughs> members-only. It said, did it have like a... I think it had a little thing over here. It was an alligator, maybe? It looked like a wind... No, that's polo, but oh. or not polo. It's a something else. Lacoste or something. Something. Yeah, Lacoste. But it had these little snap... It had like these... What are they lapels. called? They call it type lapels, things. and yeah. it would yeah. go over and snap. Like generals have. and it, it, it was like a square collar at top, and it, I think it right. was snapped. And if you rolled in in a members only jacket, yeah, you were you were the stuff. man. Yeah. Man. So how did you get a members only? jacket? I never had, you had to be a I was member. Not a man enough. That's what I'm saying. I well, like pull open up a they, I, open also, up a Captain Crunch box or something. A, like back that, then, they probably didn't make it in my size either. So. I think you have to open a checking <laughs> account at uh, State Bank. That's right. State Bank of the Lakes. State Bank of the Lakes. That was a mystery. What are you a member of? I don't even know. I think oh, only, Ed. Only I know. <laughs> <laughs> what about Ed? Ed looks like he'd be part of uh, the the young uh, Nazi group. <laughs> oh, jeez, oh, that's cool. That's what I'm bad. saying. We just went I mean, in all their directions. Hair, that's what he looks like. <laughs> Hitler's youth. There was a. Yeah, what Hitler's was that called? youth. That's Hitler's what he looks, youth. looks like. Oh, good lord! Like, I just got back. From they my weren't camp. allowed to have mullets. Well, okay. that's that's fair. Well, I guess he the Hippolyte thing might work. They liked uniforms. <laughs> why he had it? Members only. <laughs> that's <laughs> only his member We're gonna get sued by the members only. I just wanted to know what it was. I'm sorry. Email the show. Let us know. Any of you, if, first of all, if yeah, were you a, a member? Yeah, I want a picture of you wearing your members only jacket. Were you a member? Are you still a member? Yeah. And where's Jimmy Hoffa? Yeah. And where's That's Jimmy? Right. <laughs> yeah. Is that how you become a member? That's right. All right. It cuts back to the cabin. They're, you know, lit, or as I said, Annie and Ed are now driving to the cabin, but that's going to be a while. So we're cutting back, and Ash was just sitting in a chair 
waiting to see what happens basically in this cabin. And all of a sudden the piano starts to play Mm -hmm. on its own and he goes in and he starts, he takes out the necklace and he starts to cry. I'm like, bro, you probably knew her for two weeks. What are you crying over Linda for? At least he cried. Right. He's he's kind of coming down off his high. Off his high. Being possessed and chopping his girlfriend's head off and burying her body and. Which he no sold. And he's about to no sell something else. That's kind of a big deal. Yeah. Is he looks out the window he is now also, I should say, he's boarded up the building yes. from the inside. But he looks because some of the boards blow off the window. And he sees her body come up out of the grave. Yes. Headless. Super decayed. After 24 hours. If that, yeah. We'll give him the 24, yeah, maybe. We'll give him 24, yeah. No. No. It's way, way. Yeah, it's a, Even uh, her clothes are decayed. Yeah. It's a, you know, I would say about the time that she was decayed, it was probably about the. A shift at Uline or something. Right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Maybe there was something in that thing he buried her in or something. She's dancing around. It's actually done with stop motion. I thought it was, it was very well sufficiently done. creepy. Yes. And her head rolls over and yeah. jumps onto her body. And she's balleting around the dirt and cuts to Ash, who's just like, Oh, would you look at that? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> very strange. <laughs> He's seen weird. some stuff. <laughs> that was some like nightmare before Christmas thing. What? Going That's on. what my yeah. son said. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Like Tim Burton. That's I was before like, Tim Burton. Like, so Tim Burton that, stole it. Is it bad that I was kind of oddly like attracted? <laughs> yes, like, that's that very bad. Keep Charles. going, Charles. I, I love this. Kind of this weird like. Uh, I didn't say anything to my family, but I'm like, but you're oh, like well, wait, ten million people to yourself. <laughs> yeah. You're like, why am I into this? I'm like, yeah. Charles was there. He'd be like, is this happening right yeah. now? And I'm like, what? Yeah, it starts unboarding the windows. Yeah, yeah. Are we about to kiss? My favorite part in this. Yeah, we're about to kiss. My favorite part is she does that sexual sexy leg lift yes and she leans back and her head rolls off, rolls off. Right catches off. it with her arm that is right. so great like she's that a, was very creative a song and dance lady yes. in Vegas it was awesome Melissa if you can pull this off <laughs> no I like Not my with wife her I like my wife with her head on that's good now she disappears for a second before jumping right up in front of the window and jump scaring Ash yeah. who finally reacts and she again I don't know if it's an earnest thing whatever, but it, something <laughs> funny about him getting beat up because she reaches through yes, yes, and yes, just starts yes, blasting yes. his face into the wood <laughs> just, that was like, hilarious man <laughs> first like, of all bam, bam, why bam. isn't his chin breaking these boards that's what I don't understand <laughs> but it was hilarious uh, that was really he does funny. a really good job of selling that he's getting hurt yeah. right he does the poor guy gets uh, beat uh, up by uh, everyone there was no st- those had not those had to be real wood boards they were right. not styrofoam he 100% went for it he went, 100%, went 100. for it He's just like, bro, I'm like, bro, you got to pay better attention. Stop staring at her dancing around. Maybe it's a fake chin like a cup. <laughs> oh, he's, he's got a false he's chin. He's got a false chin that he can take. Stuff. Like uh, Jim Carrey and me, myself, and Irene, where they, yeah. they did the surgery and added the butt chin yeah. on him. Yeah. Maybe. Perfect. Could be. All right. It, but it, they almost sell the fact that it might have been a dream sequence because he, he kind of is still in the chair suddenly. Yes. Screaming. But then the head flies through the window and lands in his lap <laughs> where it bites him in the hand, yeah. like in between his thumb and forefinger. <laughs> and the funniest uh... scene in the entire movie <laughs> just happens, which is just him with this dummy head attached to his hand. <laughs> and he's just blasting it again. Everything he could come across. He, he's hitting it really hard. Uh, yes. He just it's really full sends going at it, man. into like a tree at one yeah. point. That's the funniest one. He falls that outside. Great. He went outside, falls over a barrel of something. <laughs> yeah. And then he's just like, just looks Boom. at the tree and just smashes it. He goes it. out of his way instead of running. Oh, he's trying to get to the shed to get it off. Work shed, he says. But he goes he out of out. his way to stop one last time and bash it yes. against the tree. Yes. That was really fun. Oh, so good. It was. He gets into there, into the shed, and there's a vice on the counter, which he gets her head in. Yeah. And that's how he's able to detach, you know, the head from. I mean, we head. all had those moments we wanted to put our significant other's head, head in a vice. In a vice. <laughs> yes, not when it's detached from their head. So, and it's easier to do when it's detached. He's like, even now we have your girlfriend's soul. Yeah. And he goes, you're going down. <laughs> <laughs> That was great. Uh, All of a sudden, he lifts up the veil. of the, He's trying to find the chainsaw, and there's just an outline. Of the yes, chainsaw. So chalk, chalk, chalk outline. Who drew the chalk uh, outline? Hey, they got to know where your tools go. To be like, this yeah. is where this the chainsaw is. Where the chains, I should do. do that in my house. <laughs> just yeah. chalk outline Well, maybe everything. someone, maybe they had kids, and they're like, this is where it goes, son. Pull I open a drawer in the kitchen. When there's no forks. When there's just chalk outlines. Chalk outlines. Yeah. And this eight-year-old's using the chainsaw. Imagine Make sure being, you put it back here. You imagine being drunk and trying to grab the chalk outline. Right? What a fork do you eat when you're 
can't get it. I think they had stupid the drawer. <laughs> they had the the police in training go in there and they're like, we're gonna oh, practice yeah. chalk yeah. outlines. There you go. you have to get good at this. You gotta get good at this. Start with the chainsaw before you go move to a body. It's another decent jump scare because as soon as he realizes he's not there, the headless body of Linda busts in the door with, with the, the chainsaw, chainsaw. and. He immediately deflects it with a crowbar and it starts ch like sawing itself mm -hmm. yes. and black, black like motor oil yes. looking blood right in his face. And I'm like, Ash, close your mouth. <laughs> He's just like, ah. I'd be throwing up immediately. <laughs> Apparently, I learned reading, I learned that uh, they use the different colors to try to avoid like a serious X rating or something. Right. That's why the guy's green, green later. And red and there's black a blue one, and something. Blue, yeah. With the very, very end. Yeah. But yeah, dude, because I think they submitted this a couple times and it mm. was still rated X. Yeah. And then they just eventually had to go, we're just releasing this unrated. Because we can't avoid the X rating. I don't know if it am I so jaded that I'm like this was deserving of an X rating at one point. It doesn't I, seem that. I, well, I want to know what was the cut that. I mean, it's so like not scary. Maybe you you weren't freaked out at all. No, like Temple of Doom got the Temple of Doom created the PG thirteen rating. That was far scarier than anything the, in this because the heart scene for sure. Yeah. That yeah. one. So oh it yeah. Me yeah. Out. yeah. Kalima. Kalima. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Maybe maybe movies just come a long ways, or I don't know. Just when I was a child, I thought I was horrified when I saw that. Really? Oh yeah, horrified. Well, my daughter didn't. She usually watches. She didn't want to watch this one with us when she read the what was happening. Okay, but I don't think she would have been that scared. If she actually. No, it's kind of cartoony. I mean, she's fourteen. It's kind of cartoony. Yeah. You know. I mean, a seven-year-old. Yes, yeah, so I'm probably terrified. Yeah, for sure. I want to see the original cut. That'd be amazing. If yeah, like what? Show me the cut that was so bad that they wanted. Unless this is the cut. How do I don't they? Know. Apparently, they lost a lot of footage. Oh, for real. From both of these movies. Dang. Oh. How do they go back and retcon the color though? Did they do? Did they just recolor it in probably. in post? I think yeah. you can do that. You can do it in post pretty easily. Oh, okay. Yeah. Without a computer though. Back then, well, they yeah, okay, they went like, to the moon before then with computers. It and, oh. well, the first, what was like the first major computer was 1982, wasn't it? I think so. Right, I mean, but they, they wouldn't have had access. They had all those I ladies that, from Hidden true. Figures programming the the. That's right, and after the space shuttle, you got to go work on Evil Dead yeah. Two. We need okay. some color alterations. <laughs> That's right. All right, you guys, yeah. working on Evil Dead Two sends yeah. the wrong Perfect. coordinates <laughs> yeah. to the space shuttle. They were, <laughs> yeah, they couldn't get to the computer in this because Last Starfighter was still trying to render second frame. You and your hatred of them. Shame. That movie's That's my a daughter's national favorite treasure. movie. Thank you. That is a it is. Nick Castle, who plays Michael Myers in 1978 Halloween. That's right. Directed. John Carpenter's best buddy in film school directed yes. that movie and Major Pain. And he took he a big done better. swing, which he I appreciate. Done better. How dare you? <laughs> All right. Before I start, so he got take that head. shirt off right now. <laughs> he's got the girl's head in a vice, and she suddenly changes back to herself, and she's like, "You said we'd always be together," yeah. and I'm like, you, "You're not even together." Hey, you know, <laughs> girls say a lot of crazy things. <laughs> I haven't gotten my period yet. It might be yours. <laughs> yeah, not mine. <laughs> also, at that point, wouldn't you be like, you know, losing your head? Like with no body here, you would be doing this, you know. Right, like right. You'd be sitting here yeah. and whine. And it's like, no, yeah. no. You know what? You're done. Ends yeah. up chopping her Obviously face. Obviously, you whine when you parallel park, and I'm not falling for this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. they didn't oh. show. Him. What you say? You cry about everything. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was show. good touch. They didn't show it, but you see it in, in the shadow. Yeah, I and mean, they can't show everything. That would have been too overt. Yeah. I think they cut her up. Uh, goes back inside and. He's chilling again in the cabin, and all of a sudden, the rocking chair is is now going by itself. Yes. And uh, when there's a ghost in a rocking chair, you, you know what you don't do, Ryan? This scene really bothered you, didn't yeah. it? You went you, on about this for about five minutes <laughs> earlier. You don't stick your hand inside of the ghost <laughs> that's in the rocking chair. I think it was a Charles situation again, where where <laughs> Ash is like. Is this happening? <laughs> Maybe if I try to communicate with it. Yeah. He just reaches in. just got to make in. sure it doesn't have his glasses off. <laughs> he reaches in. He's as soon as contact. As soon as he reaches in, it stops. <laughs> yeah. And he's just like, all of a sudden, he's like overcome with emotion. The realization, I think. Of what happens. He steps over to the mirror. And I thought this was really well yeah. done. Yeah, yeah, He's looking in the mirror. I'm he's fine. like, we're fine. fine. You gotta this is a great line. Pull yourself together. Is that what he says? Yeah, he says, I'm fine. I'm fine. And Mirror Ash jumps out of the mirror and grabs Ash. 
I don't think so. We just cut up our girlfriend with a chainsaw. Does that sound fine? <laughs> <laughs> yes, and for when this pr- kind of practical effects, the fact they have to yeah. match the, the mirror yeah, yeah, shot yeah. And stuff. Oh, it's great. That was great. Fantastic. And yeah. so he's slowly starting to lose it. Yes. I think. I think some of the things that are happening to him are the deadites. And some of it is just him going the crazy. psychological yes. right. drama. Yeah, right, exactly. Well, because the ghost or the uh, the mirror jump out starts choking him, and then it switches the camera and it backs out because you see right. the, his the hands choking, and it backs out and it's just him choking himself. Him mm-hmm. choking yeah. himself, yeah. and then right after that, he releases himself, and you see the bite on his hand, and it's getting all kind of rancid, and all of a sudden, his whole hand changes. Yeah. To it's like starting to get affected. to look dead, yeah. yeah. And his hand starts to try and come at him, and he's holding it that, back. This with his was other amazing hand. acting. Give me the, the, back just, my hand, yeah. Give me Bastards. back. He almost sounded like William Shatner or yeah. Charlton Heston. Yeah. That's, <laughs> that's exactly, yeah. <laughs> Apparently, <laughs> damn dirty apes. <laughs> he completely improvised that whole scene. What with his hand in the kitchen, all the fight? that, and it was his first take, and they used it. Wow. That's incredible. Isn't that amazing? That is amazing. So that's really, really good. A round of applause Physical for Bruce Campbell. Yeah, Come on now. For Bruce. So that should be taught in drama class. Seriously. Not Shakespeare. Yeah. The, um, or some other guy. They do Shakespeare. <laughs> I, got, I got quite the hard time giving it to me. Back when we did Me, Myself, and Irene, and I posted that clip from when Jim Carrey fights himself and we us giving lots of praise and kudos to him because he did it in Liar Liar 2. And right. it looks mm-hmm. like Jim Carrey is the best physical comedian of all time. There was lots of comments about... Bruce Campbell did it first. Bruce Campbell did it first. Not to take anything away from Bruce Campbell. I can't, I'm not saying Bruce Campbell, and I still won't say, is a better physical comedian than Jim freaking Carey. No, I don't think mm-hmm. so. Okay? But all props to him for yes. this scene with Amazing. the hand. The hand scene's great. It's great. Yep. The camera is sped up a little bit, right? A few and times, so, yeah. A few times. Yeah. But, like, he's doing it himself. Yeah. <laughs> Again, the thing about Ash being an idiot, he's like, I'll just run underwater. <laughs> yeah. right, like the first Maybe this will wash that. off. <laughs> It'll wash off. I like that shot of it. I mean, the, the camera underneath, yeah, underneath, underneath the glass. glass. Or, or the yeah, glass, Pexi glass. That was really, that was I really. I mean, I might try like, that first. It's, it's coming off. You know, you start <laughs> with the easiest solution that you can think you of You didn't even first. have bleach, no bleach, yeah. no, yeah. like, uh, what was right. it, lime, lime uh, CLRs. <laughs> <laughs> At least grab some Dawn. Dawn. <laughs> I mean, it gets the oil off of little ducks. It It can't undo a Dead hand. <laughs> False advertisement, Don. <laughs> Hit it with some soap first, Ash. You know please. how much revenue or ad revenue they would have gotten if Don would have oh, gotten yeah. on board with this? They get oh, enough from Tubi. Like, <laughs> they brainwashed fair. me watching all these movies on Tubi. I bought that squirt Don because it gets you? your dishes cleaner than every other dish. <laughs> Did it work? Like, dang, uh, yes, it has to work. <laughs> and, I bought it. And now we're so, sponsored by Don. Yes, except, when you, except when you go and eat. You, I, I you bought that. It. My daughter's like, Did you buy that because of Tubi? Yes. There's only so many times you can watch the same commercial over and over and over and over again before, before you, you are actually brainwashed into buying a product. I let my dishes soak too long, so yeah. all I taste is soap with yeah. my ramen noodles. Yeah. Before you yeah, sh- eventually yell at the TV, fine, yeah. I'll get it. Yeah. And for some reason, in this movie, Tubi didn't have like every break was nine. It was no, only no. like two a couple. I think couples. Clint said it last time we were watching the the break the ad breaks on this were right dead on like right at the yeah. end of a scene they were like okay now right, here's the ad well done. Yeah. it was perfect there's Maybe a couple they times they didn't go off now, right before yeah. I should say this, <laughs> it just was like, yeah, it was like ad coming in. Never mind. Never mind. You get you get ashes on television. <laughs> Bruce Campbell has See, a his manliness. His, contract. his manliness overpowered the ad break yeah. on Tubi. That's impressive. That's impressive. Shredded the ads with his chin. I should say before the hand fight in the kitchen, it does cut back to the no one cares ranch for a minute, where uh, Sam and or I say Ed and Annie meet up with Jake and. Billy Joe. Billy, Billy Joe. Bob. Bobby Joe. Bobby Joe. Bobby, Bobby Joe. Joe. Bobby okay. Joe. Bobby Jake Joe. Jake is putting up some cones or something because the bridge, the bridge is, is out, out yeah. and he seems like he's got he's the tow truck fix it guy yeah. in town or something. Small town. And, tow later. Uh, Ed and Annie mm-hmm. pull up and they're like, we got to get across this bridge, but you're not going anywhere. There ain't no bridge. <laughs> the stupidest work. We're like, well, why don't we just go the other way that's also there to go? <laughs> There's a path we can walk. <laughs> Does it go across the gorge? Because like, like, how else are you going to get there? There's like the whole thing is there was this one road across. The Do you know camp. how long it would take you to go around a gorge That's what I'm in saying. the forest? I think the gorge, you know, the shot where he's it's claymation and mm-hmm. he's like dancing around. 
it's back out and you can see that it's cliff faces. Yeah. I think they just walk down and then up. And like then up. Have you ever, have you ever played just add more clay to it? Have <laughs> <laughs> you ever played Last of Us? When that yeah, crap no, happens, yes. you have to go. And oh. it's not an easy path. You're like, oh, there's a, oh, I have to go into this refinery. Okay. I got to battle this fat blob of gas. Okay. Now I got to go uh, and the floor breaks and I fall hey, through the floor 12 stories. Just now because I'm, the, 10 feet of bridge was out. Yes. Yeah. Just because 10 feet of bridge is out. <laughs> I want to see. And they yeah. need those roller boys. Yeah. Slingshot <laughs> them around. Right over the gorge. That was uh, uh, solar boys. babies. Solar right? babies. Why didn't they do the whip? Yeah, yeah they the should have done the whip. The whip. The friendship. They get the power of friendship yeah. going in a circle and yeah. it shoots them off. Did you ever see solar babies? No. The oh, last person watch. screwed. But well, Jason Patrick just solar babies, not would really. just spin themselves in a circle and then launch each other over the gap bridge. Yeah, like That's awesome. foot gap. That's That's Jamie awesome. Gertz is in there, right? She is. Yes. All right, I'll watch it. Solar babies. All right, so when he actually does get into the kitchen and he starts, fe- after he tries to wash it off with the water, his hand just starts grabbing dishes and just blasting himself in the face with these dishes. <laughs> so great. <laughs> Pretty sure those were real dishes. That was a really good thing. Throat chopping yeah. himself. His oh, hand is beating so the crap out of him. Uh, it's great. It's, it is great. I do have a question, though. Yes. The hand is the thing that's possessed. Yeah. But how does the hand control the arm? It's so powerful, it's pulling, pulling the, the arm. arm. The same thing later when the, when the hand picks up a knife and stabs somebody. Yes. It's like, it's how did that get the leverage? Power. It has its yeah. own okay. force, I think. Yes. You know? It's possessed. It's, how does it I, talk? How did, that was hilarious. How does it have a voice? That's a great Because <laughs> it's going, me, 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 yeah. me. Well, yeah, <laughs> demons, you know, they talk. <laughs> we just needed to cut to it doing this, <laughs> yeah, like with the, its thumb. thumb talking. That would have been awesome. Yeah. <laughs> But he'd have to stop to talk and then start crawling in. And start crawling. That'd be perfect. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, he eventually pins the hand still attached to himself to the ground, and he picks with up the knife. chainsaw, which is there, and he starts it with, with his, his teeth. I know that was oh. the most metal thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> 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 you imagine? I can't <laughs> talk about a guy that's desperate. Dude. That's the most manly oh, thing you can do. Awesome. And just with a head turn, right? That's what yes. I'm saying, bro. I would have broke my own neck. If I did that. <laughs> <laughs> or the string would have popped out. It would have been out. easier just to wrap the cord Rip around his out. chin. You know what yeah. we need, actually, is to find out the brand of that chainsaw. Because the fact it started up so easily, first pull, One start that's added. amazing. I've that never was. found a small engine that starts like that. <laughs> no, Most people should advertise that scene in their commercials for their products. No, when the, thing came, when the handle came back, it should have had three teeth stuck in it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's just how powerful this guy's uh, jaw is. That was awesome. This guy's like trap jaw from He Man. He could crush a small, <laughs> like a, uh, 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 why did I just blank? Dang it, that was going to be good. All right, I'm moving on. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, all right, he starts the chainsaw and then he chops his own hand off and they spray him in the face with, you know, from off camera, yeah, whatever. Lots of blood. blood, again, blood right? stuff, lots of blood. Right into his face. Lots of blood. Uh, and, he eventually traps the hand, which is now detached, under a bucket. Yeah. And then puts three books on this top of it. This is great. I and love he's this. Like, he pats it. He's like, that's not going anywhere. That's that, like, this but is did you see home. the top book? Tell yeah. me, yes. A farewell to arms. What a great. <laughs> Hit the pun. What a great <laughs> genius. Yes. My wife, my wife's an English teacher. Yeah. We both were like, a farewell to arms. It was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. That was perfect. The perfect touch. Yes. But Very good. An idiotic plan, yeah. In general, yeah. Why didn't he? Yeah, right. He just three books. It just it's such a dude thing. Like this is fine. It'll be good. It'll he, be good. Put it on. He did have to wrap up his hand, his arm that he just cut his hand off though. So he probably is a little distracted. Little dude, distracted. Maybe. He wraps up his stump like it's nothing, and there's no more blood. Which, like, <laughs> we discussed this last him. night. His blood carterized itself. Ah, <laughs> that's how he got the name. That's how I got it. Yeah. Ash. Ash. Oh, Ash. I got it. I thought he had those ninja powers from Ninja Assassin where he just sucked the blood <laughs> yeah. back in to himself. Remember that? Oh, I forgot about yeah. that. That movie's I, so good. That movie's <laughs> great. I love that movie. I, think I still can't get over the fact they're just like, just keep it in your body suck by it in. sucking yeah. it in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Brings a whole new movie. meaning to suck it up. That's right. right. Just suck it up. That was a good right. movie. I think he should have heated up I don't know if it was or not. It was. That's where we got the Rain Award. Yes, it was. Yes. A, oh, it was a good movie yeah. for sure. That was a good movie. Oh, there were some uh, good abs in that movie. The yeah. hand, the hand gets into the wall, and by by sound alone, Ash is trying to shoot the hand in the wall, and he eventually gets it, laughs it because he, he. I should say we never grabbed. He grabbed a double barrel shotgun. Yes, that has been there the whole time, I guess, off of the wall, and eventually nails this. Does then, he get it though? 
I think he does. Well, no, because later on the the hand is still doing mischief. Right. He thinks he gets because there's blood dripping it. or like rolling out. Blood starts to roll out, and then all of a sudden there's lots a of blood. Geyser of blood blasting him in the face, and I'm like, close your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> and they add him laying down. It cuts they, to him going. Ah, yes. Ah. Yes. Maybe he likes the taste of it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look, his Diet main coke. his main go to <laughs> acting skill was scream acting. Yeah, that's true. It's really. Impressive. He invented it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he invented it. He did. He it did. Was very impressive. He did. The amount of emotions he can portray through a scream are really truly impressive. Then it changes from red to black, and then it again sucks all the way back in, and it's just him covered in black residue, looking around with his gun, <laughs> bug eyed, bug eyed like yes. this. And that's when the furniture. He sits down, breaks the chair, and the furniture all starts to laugh, laugh at, him. at him. The the deer the was deer. freaky. It's freaky, right? Very, very freaky. <laughs> Pro, uh, like big high five to the yes. yeah. the designers and special effects guy. Because it was all like malleable all of a yeah. sudden. Yeah. yeah. Very twisty. And he was just like. <laughs> it sounded like Looney Tunes, but it looked like some sort of horror show. Right. Yeah. And I'm not certain that that was the Deadites and not just Ash losing his mind. Yes. I think that's, that's an interesting point to make about this film, actually. I think I make this question later on. Okay. Well, we'll get to that then when we, when we do that. Oh, but I yeah. this question. But, it's, but the scene is, Bob... <laughs> I mean, you acted it out last night when we were doing it. But that scene is freaking hilarious when he just starts to laugh along with the furniture and he's just like literally dialed up to like yes, like 13, like give me the craziest laugh ever. And he's just like right to camera. <laughs> and he starts to bounce the, with this. Ah! <laughs> Watching the lamp bounce the with lamp him. Yeah. And then they this both reaction stop. to the yeah. lamp, laugh it at him. You're just like. <laughs> The face. <laughs> yeah, the face. Good. Yeah, the yeah, face yeah. reaction. Yeah. Blinking a couple times, and he's just like, what is oh. this? <laughs> the uh, the no one likes any of us army uh, roll up to the door and almost get themselves shot. Yeah. Well, <laughs> the one chick does. And she does. Well, she, she gets does. hit in the arm. She gets winged. winged. That's right. If she had been standing like six inches over, Bobby she wouldn't Joe. have had a head. No, Jake Bobby is Joe. pissed. Yes. Well, here's, the, here's where we realize how much of like exhibit C or D at this point of how much of an idiot Ash is because everything's boarded up, but the door just opens. He only boarded on the, <laughs> the door inside. and not not to the wall. It's just the door itself has boards on it. Nothing's getting through this. <laughs> he just opens it up. <laughs> like, bro, what kind of crappy boarding job is yeah. this? We only he, had one hand. Oh, I know he had hands. At that point, yeah. he didn't. He opens the door. There's a 10-second pause of nothing, and out of nowhere, Jake dives on him, gets the jump on Ash, and is just beating, beating him up. Beating the, the crap. Ground. This is where I say, this guy gets beat up by demons, by people, everyone himself. <laughs> He's getting beat up by everybody in this movie. That's the biggest travesty of the movie is that Jake, of all people, gets the drop <laughs> on Ashley Williams. I'm like, come on, Jake man. Jake is a pretty tough guy. I think Jake that's, is the toughest dude. He's got overalls on. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, he's a he's fire as dentist, that's for sure. <laughs> he's country strong, though, right? He's country, that's right. He well, could, he's he been could... carrying that big trunk up the mountain. The trunk was oh, funny. That was a she funny had a giant trunk. I mean, Lauren oh, last night was trying to that. wonder why those two were together. And yeah, let's she talk had about some Bobby theories. <laughs> she was very curious. <laughs> that was the, her biggest concern in the whole movie. Bobby is, Joe's track why lady. is Bobby Joe and Jake a couple? Jake. And I'm like, Lauren maybe was, there wasn't any other options. Yeah, yeah. Lauren was like, he must be really good in bed. <laughs> <laughs> My wife definitely also agreed that he was he he he. What's the word when got above his pay grade? Oh yes, punching above um, his weight or whatever. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, She's far more. He's attractive out over than, his skis. Yeah, with, yeah. <laughs> far more attractive than he deserves. Much much more. She was a soap opera a actress lead. actually. Oh yeah. And he was not a soap not opera. Actress. <laughs> he was friends with. I think he was part of the Ted uh, Sam Raimi crew. I hope so, because uh, I don't understand why else he's there. Uh, <laughs> Jake the Indestructible gets up uh, and starts beating up on Ash. They um, eventually dump him down the stairs. There's a trap door in the yeah. floor. Bro goes down the stairs on his neck. He goes great down. Stunt, that looked rough. Yeah. Yes. That was a great stunt. It was but... a great stunt, but why do they have to do it like that? Yeah, like, seriously, it was a hard throw. Legs folded over yes. his head. <laughs> gish, 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 gish. It looked like he just got power bombed <laughs> by Kevin Nash. <laughs> just drove. That's what they, they hired Kevin. They hired Kevin Nash. Kevin, we need you for two hours. <laughs> All right. Get over <laughs> here. We're going to power bomb him. You're not even going to be on camera. We're going to power bomb him through yes. the trap door. And, and and Bruce Campbell was like, yeah, I'm fine with it. <laughs> Seriously. Did he have fine. a stump double for the movie? It didn't look like he I did. Don't, it looked I, like him. It I don't think he like did. I, I mean, he might. I just... 
<sighs> like literally every single take of everything he's done, literally it's all him. Yeah. Just the car crash, you could tell there was a, just when it flew through, you could tell that was a, a mannequin. Yes. But oh, it was yeah. such a split second. That's a that's actually a really good example of how well, to true. do that sort of cut. Yeah, and even when he buried his girlfriend, she was definitely from TJ Maxx, like her arm. <laughs> 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 Can we get the yeah. Rolling Vengeance dolls over here? <laughs> yeah, please. That'd be awesome. Uh, he ends up downstairs. Now he's trapped in the basement. They locked the padlock on the thing. Just then, Annie goes in she's like hold on is this a recording about the book of the dead let me play this thing again here real quick and it's her everybody shut up this is my father's voice it unleashed a cardarian demon and i'm like okay those are the worst kind. <laughs> nova scotia <laughs> <laughs> from where from nova scotia <laughs> <laughs> what canadian demons yeah you gotta put, put the walls yeah. up to stop the canadian the, <laughs> whoa that's bad sorry you gotta build the wall kendarian demons Kendarian. Kendarian. build oh, the not... wall now for kendaria <laughs> <laughs> block them sons of bitches <laughs> well you know a bunch of white demons probably are pretty bad <laughs> I'm sorry, did you just refer to me as white devil? <laughs> <laughs> Leave that part out. This is how they know you. Uh, and then and then he's like, and your mother was overtaken by a demon, so I killed her, and she's buried in the <laughs> cellar. His facial expressions. Yes. He's laying he's so down, great. listening to this. I know. As I like it finally arrives. I'm in the... <laughs> They buried her in the cellar. He just goes up. Yeah, guy. His face so was perfect. <laughs> this poor guy uh, just keeps getting blasted <laughs> by every. And then immediately, like like Henrietta was underground. Like when are they going to play this stupid tape? Yeah. Like I can't come out until they say <laughs> that I buried down here. The second it's over, blasts through the dirt right between his legs. <laughs> <laughs> and it's Ted Raimi, Sam Raimi's brother, that plays yeah. Henrietta. Yeah. In this, you might recognize him from Spider Man. Yes, Jake, uh, J.K. Simmons, the actor who plays, um, wow, J. Jonah Jameson. J. J- yes, J. Jonah Jameson's assistant. Yeah, in Spider Man was Ted Raimi, uh, ah. his brother in this, and it's he did awesome in this movie. Yeah, it's great. Like, he it's was great. fantastic. Apparently, that suit was super, super sweaty. Oh, can you imagine? Did you in see fact, the legs on that they, thing? This is super gross, but it was so sweaty they would wring out. Get, like lots of sweat. Oh. And at the end, when he's flying and water comes out, apparently yeah. that's actually his sweat coming out. No. Oh. That's awesome. That's so gross. <laughs> oh. So disgusting. That suit had a that suit. paid enough. <laughs> <laughs> the, suit, the suit had a blown out vag. <laughs> it, it was like it was uh, gross. It was, it was gross. Nasty. Before we go any further, though, my, yeah. I think one of my favorite parts in this is when yeah. she says, "Shh, this is tape for my dad." No one was talking. What really? Yeah, it was totally silent. Oh. And she goes, Shh, "Everyone, Listen, quiet down." Yeah, I'm like, no one's talking. It's totally silent before you said that. Everybody, quiet. This so is super funny. relevant to the plot. Yes, it was very funny. <laughs> Oh. I'm glad you mentioned that because I I didn't even catch that oh, when I watched great. it. That's even but more yeah, ridiculous. Yeah, and then, then when she comes out, you're like, it's totally a dude. Like, right. why does <laughs> so mom clearly. look like a dude now? <laughs> I mean, I'm most saying. old ladies do after a <laughs> period That's of time. True. I was just waiting for Ash to be like, man, Henrietta has got a big set of balls on her. <laughs> <laughs> Ash tries, now Ash is getting up the thing. He's trying to get out the trap yes. door, but it's locked. Oh. And you're like, get me out of here, get me out of here. And Jake is trying to unlock the padlock, <laughs> but Ash keeps trying to open it <laughs> and it keeps shaking the lock out of his hand. I'm like, let him open it. Stop trying to yeah, open the flap. that thing coming after me, you kidding me? I'm doing everything I can. In a, yeah, in a give, loony- me out, give 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 me out. And, they pick it, and the thing starts to change and they, yes. they, they He changes into up. some weird like, like, a, uh, like a, I don't know, like a, like a horse demon. Like a, what was that? A three-legged creature from Greek mythology. Yes. That, that's like that giant snake. The Hydra. Oh, yeah, Hydra. Yeah, yeah. Hydra. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. Hydra thing yeah, going. Yeah. Right, and how they get how'd they get ash out actually though <laughs> they grab him in a by, his, a by his face cr- by his face and just pull him <laughs> yes that back. was hilarious look too. if you're gonna get bruce campbell out of a hole the best handle is his chin <laughs> his chin <laughs> like literally reach down with two hands get perfect grip <laughs> they were fixing his neck <laughs> for those who've never witnessed a c-section that's uh that's how they birth the children in c-section they bruce campbell them they literally <laughs> they I, do i saw that when i watched oh. both of my kids be pulled out i'm like uh uh, uh. oh my, do- I do yes. my wife's doctor said don't turn around if you yeah. don't want to see it. No, like, it's rough. I'm like, yeah, it. I gotta look. They literally, <laughs> literally pull them by the head. You're like, I, yeah, they're pulled up. So you see it, and I'm like, I guess oh. I don't have to be too worried about burnt head. <laughs> right? So what you're out saying, by the neck. If they performed a C-section to get Ash out of the basement. Yes, that's what it was. Basically, yes, and almost as bloody, <laughs> actually. <laughs> Yeah, I think actually C-section is far more horrifying. <laughs> C-sections are okay. yeah, no very joke, interesting man. to look at. Sorry, go ahead, Ryan. Oh, I just think uh, 
in a movie where it's like, like we said, this has been super Looney Tunes, yeah. but this scene was really effective in just giving you that anxiety because he's, because yes. yes. be, you were yelling at the screen last night because you're like, stop banging the, the door because <laughs> he can't unlock you. he can't but, unlock it. But then, right. that's what you feel like when you're watching. You're like, you're actually all of a sudden like, this right. is serious, even though you know it's a goofy movie. Right. And he's, and, and he goes, I'll swallow your soul. <laughs> He finally gets out this freaking like snake neck thing, grabs Jake's foot like with its yeah, mouth, yeah. then almost rips his face off. They <laughs> slam the door on its head, and eyeball shoots down yes. Bobby Joe's throat. <laughs> oh man, okay. she that's just, not the worst thing that's been in her mouth. <laughs> <laughs> just she just eats this eyeball, and eventually the two of them get on the trap door and stuff it back down there, <laughs> and then Ash locks it up with one hand. Jake couldn't get the freaking thing open with two. He, they lock the thing back down. Harnessing the power of the jaw, man. Yeah. All that stuff. Right down. And it's like, okay, they've got a second here. What, when they're smashing it down, yeah. Bruce Campbell is being super careful to keep his hand very straight. You see him like watching the... I, yes. I'm wondering if someone got their fingers caught a couple <laughs> oh, times. Oh, I'm sure. he was being super careful like, <laughs> to not get finger his fingers that smashed. Way, dude. You could lose a finger that like, way. Uh, Sam Raimi's like, uh, Ash, why'd you scream there? Because I have my freaking hand in the door. I, now I don't have a hand for real. Here's, here, here's why Ed sucks. Because after Bobby Joe ate a giant demon eyeball, and Jake almost lost his face and got his foot bit, and Ash was down there going neck first on some stairs, yeah, where was he? Ed is the one in the next scene on the couch with a thing on his head like, I've got yeah. a headache. He's, headache. He's got a blue <laughs> scar yeah. trying to look like a... Barry Boswick from uh, Megaforce. Megaforce. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm like, what is he? I don't feel good. He got blasted in the wall face first, though, to be fair. But so did Jake. Something, so did Ash. Everyone's getting fair, their butts yeah. kicked. Something worse happened to everyone else in yeah. the group. He just I mean, got we all have different face pain grabbed. Pain <laughs> he's like, you guys don't understand. My tummy hurts real bad. Yeah. <laughs> oh, really so he's so a so Gen worried. V guy I now. Can't, <laughs> I, can't, I can't do the dishes right now. <laughs> This the next thing that happens is one of the creepiest things in the movie to me. All of a sudden you hear Although if if we're fair to this guy, yeah. that probably is the most rational response to all of that. It's just kind of the, collapse. To lay like, down I and... need help. What is going <laughs> on? <laughs> the door the trap door opens and all of a sudden Henrietta starts singing Mockingbird. Oh yeah, I was touching. And it was hard. by Eminem. It's like some not that <laughs> <laughs> it's it's just her face sticking out. It had some serious like Pennywise vibes to it, right? It like, did. It's just yeah. his, yep. her face sticking Tragy. out. Of the, Stephen King loved the this movie. <laughs> really? Yeah. See, there you go. Inspiration, oh, right? No, there. no, no. I think I re- he helped him get the money yeah. for it. Yeah, he did. That's nice. awesome. That's awesome. Uh, she's singing Mockingbird, and it's super creepy. For me, it was creepy as hell, especially when I was a kid. Um, but <laughs> Annie, with her, I'm delivering this line as intensely as possible. Just so you all know. That is not my mother. <laughs> okay, thank you. We all thought it was. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Nobody <laughs> fell for that trick. The demons, no it wasn't very effective for the demons. And then wussy boy Ed gets possessed immediately. And yeah, that was confusing. How did he get possessed? Truly proving he was good for nothing. Yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah. I don't right? understand how he got possessed. We had to rewind the, that and go, what happened that he got possessed? The power the of, like, these, the, the, power the of mom love. hands, man. They make great cookies, so, but they'll possess you. Possess you. <laughs> <laughs> all of a sudden, he's just floating in yeah. the room. like Face turns all weird. He just dead went, by dawn. Dead by dawn. Yeah. We are went, the ones who were and will be again. Sorry. Go no, no. I, I'm sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> no, I'll say that's all I had. And then he goes after the hair. He's like, oh, oh that's some hair. That's gross. He's a hair eater demon. Out. That's a specific type yeah. of demon. They eat yeah. hair. Pantene like Pro V. They're the worst rows kind. of teeth, too. <laughs> How much would that hurt? You know, hair <laughs> big clumps of beaten off. Yeah, it was kind of weird. Just gnaws on her hair. It's, it's yeah. He, eating it's, it was weird. It was gross. I mean, pulling it out ain't great either, but eating Bobby Joe weird. just has went through a lot. She, she did. Yeah. She, <laughs> I think she got the most punishment. And the worst Almost of which was that. dating Jake. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's the worst thing that happened to her. Uh, he was clearly doing something to keep her around. Like, <laughs> right. interested. And, and he was supporting her work. He was a supportive boyfriend. Speaking of Jake, he runs up to, to Wussy Boy Demon, who grabs him by the face, snaps his neck, and throws him 15 feet into the very tall yes. ceiling. I thought he was dead. Everybody thought he yeah. was dead. Because it was so obviously yeah. a neck snap. Yeah, they made the snap noise and everything. Right. But he's fine. He's fine. He's just like, okay. Like I said, country up. strong, bro. <laughs> yeah. Country <laughs> strong. You broke two of my vertebrae. I got one more left. <laughs> then Annie, who also kind of sucks, yells at Ash thinking he's running away. 
get back. Yeah, there, seriously. You, jerk. you just she tried to kill me. Him. <laughs> yeah, she calls him a coward, and it's like you literally locked this. Yeah. You beat him up, locked him in the basement. With no, monster. kicked him down the basement. Yeah, him down. <laughs> Neck first. <laughs> Power bombed him down now the basement. Now he's not interested in Kevin saving Nash you. In yeah. You brought Kevin Nash in here. I got <laughs> super shredded to the what? basement. Why don't you want to protect us? We were just trying to kill you. <laughs> All he was doing though was going to get an axe to yeah. chop up Wussy Boy. Yeah. Mm. Right. Yeah, and she jumped to conclusions. Green on that blood. Oh, fast. big time. Yeah. And he he comes and saves her life. He does. <sighs> but he doesn't fall for it again in Army of Darkness. No, no, because the next time somebody <laughs> reaches, I love it in Army of Darkness. They call this, back to this. This scene. Uh, was a dead eye is now dead on the ground, and this one girl reaches over to touch it, and he grabs her hand at the last minute. And goes, "It's a trick. Get an axe." <laughs> 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 right? It's such yes, a great, because of the scene. <laughs> because of the scene. So it's it's, it's awesome. Uh, all right. At this point now, we're down. So Ed is dead, and we're down to four people. Ned right? is dead, or Ed is dead. Uh, Bobby, Bobby, Joe, Jake, and Annie. <laughs> Ed is dead. What did I say? I was making a Pulp Fiction joke. Oh, Ned is dead, or oh, Zed dead? Zed. 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 My, Zed's I, dead, baby. I failed as a turn. <laughs> Zed's <laughs> dead. No, but I get it now. Uh, all right. So they're all in the room. The door opens because Ghost Dad is in there, and he wants to give him some more plot information. Yeah. Um, ghost dad. <laughs> ghost dad, the spirit of her father. It should have been Dan Aykroyd. Is flying in there. <laughs> would have been awesome. That would have been awesome. They go in the room and Ghost Dad's like, what does he say? Oh, I've got it here. Recite the passages because she brought her own pages. like The, the ones that book. put them back and she knew that. Yeah. She told us that earlier. That right. These are the ones that put them back. But we're like, why don't you start reading the pages? Imme- immediately. Even after dad tells her, they still don't read them no. right away. Well, I'm they not- were down in the basement though. That's, and they well, throw them down right in the basement away, later. too, don't yeah. they? Yeah. I was so, a little suspicious of the dad showing up, though, because at this point, Ash's girlfriend, whatever her name is, Tiffany, whatever. Linda. 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 Um, Linda probably listen. was Tiffany. Linda, honey. Um, <laughs> she turned back and told him that like it was her when it really wasn't. Right. Uh, Henrietta did. Henrietta did. And now this ghost shows up and is talking to her. And it's just we're just supposed to take your word for it? It was it, just that? a ghost. It wasn't a possessed person. Yeah, okay, that's fair, I guess. But, but at this point... I guess you could say you don't trust anybody, but if she already knew what the pages right. were. That's fair, yeah. It's just know. like more of a reminder, like, hey, remember when you said this? Yeah. I did Here's like, some more plot information. I did like how Ghost Dad delivered his line. He said, recite the passages, dispel the magic, save my soul, and your own lives! <laughs> that was good. <laughs> Before he disappeared. Did he say I lives or minds? I, or, I thought it said lives, but regard, I mean, it works either yes, way. It does. It, it might mean something different if it's minds. You got to do yeah. the Dead by Dawn thing. I want to see that again. Do the Dead by Dawn thing again. Dead by Dawn. Dead by Dawn. Dead by Dawn. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Bobby Joe, who didn't care about swallowing an, all, an eyeball, loses it when the hand grabs her because at this point he, she thinks Jake's Why holding Why are you holding hand. my hand so tight? I, yeah. She has to be very grateful that hand didn't go anywhere else. She's <laughs> just grabbing her hand. Because and she's like, particularly sexually motivated. And she looks at it. For my hand would seconds. be. <laughs> well, <yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I'm so sorry. It's okay. He looks at the hand, or she looks at the hand for a good five seconds, and she loses it. Yes. Which is so not as bad as swallowing a demon eyeball, which she seemed to not care about. But she takes off. She's like, I'm getting out of here, and runs out of the cabin Yes. to go get killed by the trees from the Wizard of Oz. Or the, yes. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yes. Lord of the were, Rings. The, the, the Lord of the Rings coming. trees show up at the end. Yes, <laughs> right. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, we are the ends. I did feel like everyone was sort of downplaying that she ran out. Nobody chased her. No, they're, they're all like, like oh, well, why would you? But then Ash is like, uh, uh, bad stuff happens out there, so we're not going <laughs> out there. He's not going back this out there. Where, right. Well, they they didn't realize it immediately because the lights went out because yeah. they dropped the the lantern, the lantern and yeah. she books it and they they relight. The lantern, and yep. then uh, Jake is like, "Where's Bobby Joe?" And then you see her running. It's not like right. a cabin's a mansion. You literally could hear somebody <laughs> bolt, the, oh, like run out rooms. the door, <laughs> three feet away from you. I gotta Hold say, on, though, let's find the butler. He'll let us know. <laughs> that cabin seemed a lot bigger inside than from the outside. I love those movies yeah. they, when they do a house scene, and the house is bigger on the inside and smaller on the outside. It's gotta yes. be a trope, right? That's what this oh, one hundred percent. The fog did you, that with the boat. You called it out immediately. You're like, yeah. when we're watching it, Ryan's like, "Look how little this thing is on the <laughs> it's outside. It's tiny. <laughs> There's all these corridors. It's like a." Square where and he's like running through they, everything. It's they not only, rooms. yeah, they yeah. at first they do the front shot, and you're like, okay, maybe there's something behind that we can't see. <laughs> and then they do an over the top shot of the cabin where it's right. literally this tiny, te- it's like the size <laughs> of this table. I'm right. not the only one that's confused by that because the inside they built inside of a gym at a middle school. 
Um, <laughs> For real? And then, yes, and they did. filmed it all yeah. inside Jeez, there. So they, it was a TARDIS situation. No, they, sure. so for real, that was inside a middle school. Yes. Yeah, they built it inside a gym. Yeah. That's cool. In middle school, That's the awesome. inside stuff. Yeah. yeah. No, no, no. I, you do what you got to do. Imagine coming to class and there's like demon heads and awesome. <laughs> severed heads sitting on the floor with chainsaw marks. So this definitely uh, had to be shot during the summer. That we're climbing time. the ropes today. Yeah, don't yeah, look over yeah, here. Yeah, it's super hot. <laughs> What's that? I'm sorry. No, I said we're climbing the ropes today. <laughs> don't go over by the cabin that's <laughs> yeah. over there on the other side of the gym. <laughs> Every time I hear climbing ropes, I think of Dan Patrick and grown ups wearing short shorts. Yeah. Who wants to watch me climb a rope? <laughs> <laughs> I never. We never did rope climbing in gym when I was in school. I don't know if you guys ever had. No. But I never I didn't have been able to climb. But they anyways. do it in movies all the time. Yeah, they do. Yeah. I don't know. Anyway, so she she books it out of there. Bobby Joe is gone. She gets swallowed up by the trees that literally like are attaching themselves to her face. Yeah. Uh it's kind of that's a weird scene because the the all the vines are like wrapping around her and then right. literally inserting yeah, into, into her skin. Into her. And they I drag was, her on the ground. Yeah, I was worried because I don't if you're familiar with the first one, there's a there's a, a tree essentially right girl oh, in the yeah, first really? one. I wondered if that was the end. And I was like, I hope they're not redoing that. But they, thankfully they didn't. No. But that's right. that's where I okay. thought it was going. Because they rehashed so it much from the first like one. It. And it yeah, felt it like did. I had a I had a panic moment. They a stopped bit. a little they bit, did but a, they didn't. They did it in the remake. Because they just was that a couple years ago they remade it? The your, no, the the original remake uh, came out in twenty thirteen. Twenty thirteen. And then the new sequel came out in this year. Gotcha. It's so weird how many times they're remaking this one movie. I know, bro. It's so good. It's that's not, why people love keep it. Doing it. Apparently there's three Necronomicons and three different universes. Oh, yeah. of course. That's two multiverses. Wonderful. Everybody in their damn multiverse. <laughs> Knock it the <laughs> F off. <laughs> yeah, I'm so tired of this multiverse crap. Seriously. There's only, uh, we only need one universe and we can tell enough stories there. I don't know. Y'all weren't complaining when Marvel was doing it. I, I, I'm I tired was. of Marvel doing it. I was well, now you are. Three yeah, hours you were pretty excited about it. was too much. <laughs> <laughs> I got to pee. Put an intermission in these long ass movies. <laughs> Speaking of long, I don't want I was going to say, I don't want to get too deviated from what we're talking about, but you did fi- I let finally people know. saw Oppenheimer, and it yes. was excellent. Well there made. We go. Perfect. But it needed an intermission because I had to go pee in the middle of it. I wanted to close that loop because you, you brought yes. it up I a couple up times. And it was, did not disappoint. Excellent. And <laughs> right. Robert Downey Jr. is amazing. Awesome. Actually, they're all amazing. Awesome. It's good. All right, so Ash and Annie are in the cabin, and they're looking at the pages, and they actually do some foreshadowing for Army of Darkness here, right, where they're like, back in 1300, the man from the sky came, and it's yeah. so, so, so obviously, obviously him. Yeah, Same blue shirt, same <laughs> red chainsaw. It's a line. Like a I stick guess figure. You did, yeah. It's a stick figure, but yeah. it's got a giant chin. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, that was a pretty good-looking cartoon. <laughs> She's like, oh, he was prophesied to destroy the evil. He looks up and goes, did a real bang-up job. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Criticizing himself. That was good. <laughs> and uh, this is when Jake, having shaken off his broken neck from the other the other attack marches them outside at gunpoint and grabs the double barrel and says we're going out there to look for bobby joe we're not doing this stupid necronomicon crap grabs the pages and instead of throwing them into the fire oh, that's i thought yeah okay that's when he does the pages right which is right there there's a fire yeah. he goes and opens the trap door and shoves them down into the basement where henrietta is mm-hmm. and he marches him outside he's really concerned about bobby joe because it took him a really long time to get yes, a girlfriend yes and he doesn't want to have to find another yes, one he doesn't want another one. <laughs> so well, i well, wouldn't either if i had bobby joe no, he's not, he's not gonna know. have many choices after this <laughs> <laughs> he's really not he uh once they're outside ash is possessed again and launches jake head first into a tree <laughs> on like broken neck number two he's totally fine <laughs> that tree's not. The tree's not. <laughs> the tree exploded. <laughs> <laughs> tree exploded. Uh, then he chases, An- then uh, possessed Ash chases Annie back into the house. Uh, where she grabs this, like, there's like a knife that came with the book that's like made out of a spine. The Kandarian dagger. That's what it is. Thank yeah. you. The Kandarian dagger from Canada. That knife was wicked. It looked yeah. awful. I mean, until Good. it turned yeah. to rubber. <laughs> oh, yes. You pointed this it out. It was used for another movie <laughs> called... Oh, no, 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 no. no. <laughs> that one did get the X-ray. <laughs> <laughs> they... <laughs> She's got this thing ready, and it's like someone fine to like took a spinal column and, and hardened it, and then hardened it down to a point. Yeah, and then you know, yeah. And Jake busts in, broken neck number two is fine, by the way, and gets stabbed, stabbed in the chest <laughs> because she thinks it's Ash. Can you imagine how horrible that wound would be? Bro, oh. There's no bro, way he lives through that. Bro's got neck broken Seriously. twice. He comes in, gets stabbed right in the sternum, <laughs> and then when he falls down, as you said, she leans on the knife, and it's just oh, going, boom, boom, boom. He's the boom, toughest boom, SOB boom. in all Evil Dead. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I called so him Steve Weiser's. Jake the Indestructible when he first got there, 
<laughs> this guy took more shots than Joe Pesci did in Home Alone. And he's... <laughs> Remember in Home Alone when they got hit in the face with a brick from like four stories? That was up? Daniel Stern. That, yeah. that was yeah. Daniel yeah. Stern. He's in Home Alone too, right? Yes. He's just chucking bricks oh, down. That those boof. Oh. Well, that scene big... cringes me. Yeah. My kids are laughing at it. Like, That's so funny. I'm like, don't you ever? Don't you ever do that? Don't you ever? They hit him with bowling balls in the first one. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Right on his face. Yeah. Right on the dome. Oh. Tool oh. chest. Those are violent movies. They are. And the nail through the foot. That's all. Oh, yes. The tar. Oh. It's still, I've seen it 20 times. Every time he steps oh, out of that nail. You cringe. I cringe. Uh, violent Night. The, the bricks do it for time. me. The brick throwing from the top of the building oh. and Daniel Stern's face. Yes. He sells it wonderfully, but you're just like, <laughs> ow. Violent Night is a great homage to that movie with the nail. I love Violent Night. Oh, yeah, oh, really? oh, I've yeah, got to see that. Great, yeah. Violent. That's good. That's one with um, David, David Harbour. David Harbour. Yes. Yeah. Awesome. It's awesome. All right, so after she accidentally stabs Jake, she drags him. She's like, to make it easier for Henrietta, he drag, he, she drags Jake all the way to within reach of the trap door. Well, first, she, <laughs> Ash comes to the door, and she starts trying to close it, and she smashes Jake in the door, like, near his chest. That's right. Then That's she right. pulls him, smashes again on his ankles. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> trying to get him clear of the door. Yeah. <laughs> Poor Jake. Then she's like, oh, I'll drag you over here to safety. Puts him right next to the trap door. <laughs> Face right there. Where Henrietta opens it up and basically garbage disposals yes. him. Yes. yes. Like trap door spider. There's the more blood that's in a human body pouring out. <laughs> and because of Jay's track record, I'm like, he's probably fine. <laughs> I, I'm betting he's okay. <laughs> the part I thought was crazy was she stabs him with this horribly jagged edge knife, right? Yes. There's hardly any blood. It's like the right. one wound where you would legit see it. And then they right. pull it out. And, Which you, know, you don't you're do. You're never supposed to do unless you've got obviously a lot of pressure. And I don't no. even know, plug it with something else? No. But he's like being dragged and pulled. There's no blood. And then Nothing. he goes and he gets, it's like, all the blood. All the blood. I'm, he had either Dracula, had the ninja power. Dead yeah. and loving it style. <laughs> that's how, <laughs> that's how you uh, <laughs> That's how you bleed out. You take a knife wound yes. and you remove yes. the thing that's blocking yes. the blood yes. from coming out. And, and he was dead yes. with that wound. I think he even says, I'm having a hard time breathing. Well, no doubt. You had this jagged <laughs> into your lungs. That's really weird. I wonder why. I wonder why. Oh, uh, could it be the cigarettes? Could no, it's the- yeah, right. <laughs> Ash busts in like the <laughs> ultimate warrior and military presses Annie, like which is like the power of the warriors. That's right. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Fires her into the wall, and I'm like, why is he doing a military press? <laughs> and Bob, what'd you say to me? Remember? He goes, "It's his finishing move. It's his finishing maneuver." <laughs> <laughs> Undead Ash's finishing maneuver right. is military press. To objects, <laughs> but what what snaps Ash out of it? Because right as he's about to kill Annie, he's he's suddenly the he second sees time the necklace. That's what sees it is. The necklace, and it looks like a sh- the chain is in a skull shape, which apparently is a callback to the other movie. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, see, I missed that. Yeah. Uh, he sees the necklace, and this is he's been possessed twice and gotten out of it. Uh, he snaps out because of the necklace, but Annie thinks he's still possessed, so she yeah. still keeps trying to kill him yeah. and hit him, and he's like, I'm all right. Damn it, I said I'm all right. <laughs> if I was Annie, I'd keep trying to kill him, too. Do well, you understand me? She's already seen Do you hear him. what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm all right. <laughs> he grabs her by the face. Uh, they the, keep, yeah, uh, then he relaxes against the wall, and she still attacks her. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I would, too. All those demons that acted nice. the axe at him, think, doesn't he? Yeah, it thankfully, was, she sucks at swinging. Oh, that's right. Yeah, the axe yeah. goes right next to his head, and he just looks over like. <laughs> but he's looking at it the whole time, so I'm like, why this didn't is, he move? Why didn't he flinch? He saw the axe coming. This is not burnt toast, bitch. This is an axe. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, and he, oh my gosh. All right, so this is when he goes, damn it, I said I'm all right. And she goes, for how long? And that's when Ryan was like, that's valid. That is super valid. <laughs> that's that's valid. Point. That's I didn't even understand how come he kept getting and ungetting possessed. Yeah, it didn't like make sense from the movie. Man. Testosterone. It's the power of love. Of, she yeah. goes, all right, well, Bob. Don't need money. <laughs> you just need a necklace. <laughs> <laughs> it's the power of love. <laughs> Da, 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 da. The right. love he had for the girl he chopped her head off and took right. her in yeah. half. She probably was dating for two weeks. Yeah. You know, yeah. she was know. a cashier at X Mart. She was. That's right. You're right. S Mart. S Mart. S Mart. Shop no, Smart. Shop S Mart. That's S-Mart. right. Oh, you're, you're yes. right. Yes. That's, yeah. Uh, so, uh, but Annie does go make the astute observation. She's like, "All right, look. Bottom line, we need those pages." 
and we know where they are, yes. and it's the zoom in on the trap door, and that's where we, he gets the let's carve us up a witch that's line. Great. Yeah, it's and we line. get the build montage, this iconic yes. build montage. Perfect. He makes this yes, little fork on his chest. Awesome. For the starting cable, can yeah. just flip in. He replaces his where was his stump mm-hmm. with the chainsaw. Yes. And then he's got his see, he saws off the shotgun, mm-hmm. which he twirls, sticks into his back, and then the camera, like if that wasn't badass enough, does a full zoom in and we get Movie. Yes. Nice. <laughs> it's great. It's legendary. <laughs> a hero is born. Groovy. It's that. I think that's the moment. Wow. Yes. Look at those cheekbones. We're <laughs> right. <laughs> Could you imagine it? watching this movie for the first time, right. and then you get to that scene where he goes, "Let's carve ourselves a witch." You did not expect that, right? At all. Chainsaw no. hand, shotgun, spin. You didn't expect that at all. No. To the to the catchphrase, I think this is the moment where Ash comes from likable lead in a horror movie to I want four more movies with this guy and a TV show. Like, he be, <laughs> this is the moment he became that, like, this guy is awesome. Yes. More Ash. He's oh, got yeah. a chainsaw hand. Yeah. Four movies of TV show and two kick-ass video games. Right. Born out of this moment. Absolutely. My wife knew there was video games of this. Oh, yeah. She asked, and my son's like, I don't think so. And I'm like, well. There, are, there were multiple there video games. There's a new one that came out. It's, yeah. uh, in this, it's a multiplayer. It's big, yeah, big they sh- they're shutting the... New, new well, they're doing what they did to Red Dead Two, where they're they're just not they're not updating it updating anymore. anymore. Oh, like you can, sucks. They're keeping it open, like people want to play, but they've essentially stopped updating it. But, oh, what the heck, yeah. Punks. But uh, I yeah. think this is a really good example of how you should do a hero that like an imperfect hero. Yes, because so many times they go either too far where the person's just not likable, right, or they're just too good where. They have no problems. Whereas, right. like we said, like he's a buffoon, <laughs> but he's also when you watch when he's killing a yes. deadite, you're like, get him! I'd rather yeah, have this than Brie Larson. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> are those our only options? <laughs> These are the only two options we had. <laughs> I've got a list. Uh, all right, so they go back in after the groovy. He goes back into the living room and. Instead of just unlocking the trap door, <laughs> they cut it open yes. down the middle, oh, ensuring that they can never close it again. Yeah, that's true. Maybe that was the intention. Maybe. They're yeah. Getting rid of it. Getting rid of it. They go downstairs, and the stairs are still intact, even after he neck blasted them earlier. So that's cool. <laughs> he and they're facing downstairs. the opposite direction. She stays up. <laughs> You're right. She does not go downstairs. They're, and they're facing the opposite yeah. direction. Yes. <laughs> he walks down. There's a room within a room, and there's all this plumbing that he's walking so through. So many pipes. All these pipes, they're leaking all over the place. I'm like, how'd you like to be a plumber and get this call? <laughs> you can't I even mean, get across the bridge. I mean, you can't even. You got to swing across and then come fix our zombie-infested cabin. <laughs> Great. He finds the soaked pages, picks them up. They're dry immediately. From like one <laughs> shot yeah. to the next yeah. shot, they're dry. Well, they're Necromonicon, Necronomicon pages. Right, but I'm made of human flesh, and i got to wipe myself well, off when I get wet. <laughs> maybe when your flesh is <laughs> dead and dried, it's good. Oh, maybe. That's yeah, true. Maybe. I don't know. But, but it, oddly enough, he doesn't encounter Henrietta in the basement, gets to the stairs, <laughs> in one clump, tosses all of the pages up to yeah. Annie, who, and yeah. they don't. They don't. They don't impressive. go. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Never have. Uh, no. They were still absolutely they were still not. Still a little damp. They stayed. Every damp. time I do something like that, pages <laughs> everywhere. That's right. I mean, hand me a napkin. <laughs> yeah. That would have been a, a good take if just all the pages just went everywhere. And it probably like, did. And then she's like, "Why did you just do that? <laughs> just hand them to me. I'm right." It here. probably did. So they're like, "Soak them up." I'm literally yeah. right here. Dipping, <laughs> dipping in a bucket of blood. And it's at that moment that after he tosses up that Henrietta, who's under the stairs. I love this shot so much. Reaches, grabs his legs, yes. and pulls him through the yes. staircase. And he's got a chainsaw that he has been or had running this whole time. Yes, attached to his arm. Right. That he just falls with it. You're like, <laughs> how are you not going to cut your head off? <laughs> cut your own head off at that point, right? Was it running? I, it, I think the it was running right yeah, until yeah. the until he gets back up there and starts okay. it again. It was purring. It he was gets, waiting for a dead eye. Yeah. He gets knocked unconscious downstairs. Yeah. And so Henrietta goes upstairs and starts beating up Annie, and he's like, she's got her over her head and manhandling her and yep. beating her up until Ash finally gets back upstairs, and he busts in and he starts trying to hit it with a chainsaw, but more than hitting with the chainsaw, he's punching it with his other fist. Yes, <laughs> yes, 
Yep. And I'm like, you have a chainsaw. <laughs> Why are you taking so much time with this? Thing? <laughs> yeah, you have the technology. It. You have it. It's grown back into like snake neck yes. Hydra demon head thing, which looked terrifying. And eventually he finally is able to start lopping parts of yep. her off. And then he lops the head off with a lot of neck left attached to. And it falls on the ground. And the head is still going, I swallow your soul. I swallow your soul. And Ash steps on her head. Aims the gun at her yeah. and says, "Swallow this." <laughs> Boom! <laughs> <laughs> uh, Best moment in the whole movie. Pieces of her head fly. <laughs> Such a great, awesome, a great awesome one liner. Fatality. <laughs> <laughs> That's my favorite part of the movie. Swallow. It's, it's such an 80s yeah. like action-y line. Oh, it's beyond 80s. It's universally yes. great. Mm -hmm. It's great. And it eventually essentially turns Henrietta into like a farting corpse at this point. It's like, <laughs> the, it's like the air coming out of a balloon. Yeah. That was so <laughs> just stupid. Like, I just needed Annie to be like, yeah, like some right. kind of reaction to the didn't smell. She, didn't she give a reaction? I think something. she was like kind she, of doing like the whole... I hope so. I, like the, like I wasn't paying attention to her. They should have. I'm pretty sure she did. Yes, I have to maybe. go back and rewatch it. Uh, at this point, the trees in the forest attack the house. They got done at uh, uh, Sauron's castle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they made their way to Michigan. I know. <laughs> like, the ends have finally arrived. It took us two whole movies yeah. to get here. Yeah. <laughs> Just like in Lord of the Rings. <laughs> she starts reading from the book enough to make, because the first step makes the evil flesh. Why would and we want to do that? <laughs> <Yeah>. Step two. <laughs> creates a vortex like monster squad style that sucks the demon or whatever it is into some other dimension supposedly right, it took right. the car okay it took the car yeah. it took the car but at this point she's only finished the first incantation and so when the evil you see the first person view coming to the cabin like you have the whole movie but this time when it busts in the door you can see it mm -hmm. and it's this giant horrific Head. face yeah that was really well done yeah sticking through and this huge tree hand comes in mm -hmm. and grabs Ash and is pulling him towards its giant mouth. Meanwhile, she's still reading, but she gets stabbed in the back by the hand, which has somehow picked up a knife yep. and got enough leverage to get up and stab her. Mm -hmm. And this woman, I know you've got a knife in your back, but spit it out. <laughs> <laughs> spit it out. You got the page right there. You didn't see Jake whining like that. <laughs> you didn't get he just took it and is like, so all right, let's keep going. You didn't get stabbed in the mouth. Read. <laughs> like your head, your eyeball still yeah, maybe paralyzed, but your mouth still moves. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> it's okay. Read the words. Your only hope. It's <laughs> <laughs> kind of ridiculous. She finally gets the last, and you think she's got the last one out, but she doesn't. There's still like another word. She's like, Get the light. or whatever the last word is. She barely says it. I was like, okay. Get the light. Get the light. <laughs> <laughs> and then the vortex opens, sucks the evil thing out, sucks the Oldsmobile out, and then eventually Ash whose hair had turned white on the side from yes, seeing the yes. evil in person. Yes. And he gets sent back to the medieval times. Yes. Realizes he's the warrior from the sky. Mm-hmm. Now, they end up retconning all this in the sequel, because in this one, he kills one deadite, and they immediately hail him as a hero. Yeah. That doesn't happen in Army of Darkness when he first goes back. It takes a little longer to convince them. Yeah, King Arthur's shove him a, down a well. King Arthur's a douche. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> but... That essentially sets up the sequel of Army of Darkness, and that is Evil Dead 2. I do have a theory on why the hand is able to do what it's able to do. Oh, tell me. Because it's using Unseen Servant. <laughs> oh, a little D&D &D <laughs> reference for you there. Perfect. All right, guys. Um, it's the mind flare. It's, oh, yeah. perfect. <laughs> it's time to give some awards, as we always do for our movies. We'll give it the flowers and some movie or some awards you don't want to win. But we start off with the prestigious Will Patton Award for Intensity. You want a war? I'll give you a war. I don't want them to gain another yard. You blitz all night. If they cross the line of scrimmage, I'm gonna take every last one of you out. You make sure they remember forever the night they played the Titans. What? That's right. Nobody displays more intensity in his performances, sometimes quiet, sometimes overt, than Will Patton. And so we give out an award every week in his honor. Who was the actor, guys, that you thought was just giving it everything? In this movie, and man, oh man, do I hope this is unanimous. But don't feel like it has to be. No, Charles. it needs to be. I'm going. Uh, I'm going to go with the first girlfriend. <laughs> Whoa. I'm joking, I'm joking. Of course, it's this man, it's okay. Bruce Campbell. Oh. Ash, <laughs> sit down, sit down. It's okay. Ash, is no doubt. Dude. Bruce Campbell, no doubt, yes. is the most intense in this movie. 
Very, Ryan. very impressive. Yes. Yes. Ryan. <laughs> Definitely Ash. Bob. Ash. It's Bruce Campbell. Yes. Come on. Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> This is I, it's it's a different kind of intensity than like a Will Patton. Like Colin ah! <laughs> would never do. This. Don't you even? Don't you even? Will in the right movie, Colin Farrell's performance from Daredevil would be perfectly uh, appropriate for this award. In Daredevil, when everyone else was acting like they're in a serious Batman movie, to do Evil Dead in that movie made no sense. I'm just saying, is okay, very love- similar. I don't don't even lump in <laughs> Colin Farrell's performance with Bruce Campbell in here. <sighs> All right, let's like, see what the paper. I like Colin Farrell and Daredevil. I know you Perfect. do. Uh, Seems like you're outnumbered here. Eric Valov is one of our <laughs> patrons today that's putting in the awards. So, hey, Bob, Eric. you're probably thrilled for that. Absolutely thrilled. He also went Bruce Campbell. He should. J.P. Dozier went Bruce Campbell. Let's go. And let's see if Charlie Francois will make this official. He says... I can't understand why Bruce Campbell didn't have more of a career. Masterful, bur- masterful burlesque antics and facial comedy. comedy. Yes. Campbell's Ash places a milestone along the road that Jim Carrey would later pave all the way to stardom. The only actor for most of the film, his on-screen presence eclipses all other performers who didn't stand a chance. Evil Dead Two is basically a one-man show, and this movie wouldn't have been ma- wouldn't have made sense without him. Plus, he looks damn fine doing it. That's Bruce Campbell off clean sweep nice. for the Will Patton Award for Intensity. It wasn't really another choice. No. No. No other choice. Let's move right along then to the award we give out to the actor that just had the worst performance in the movie, the one that had the acting range of <laughs> Steven Seagal. This might be or unanimous, dude. a trash can full of dirt. <laughs> Let's do it. Trash can, oh trash can, it's a trash can full of dirt, yeah. Love never dies, and neither do they. Love is eternal. F this guy. That's a long time. <laughs> That's a long time. <laughs> That's a long time. <laughs> God. All right, Charles, who was the worst actor in this movie? I am going with Mr. Richard Domer, Ed Gently. Ed Gently. Yes. He, you know, his last name was... Fits his character. Fits his character. realize that right now, yeah. Ed Gently. Yeah, he yes, wasn't very good. For sure. You could have had a trash can there. <laughs> Aside from it turning into a demon, it wouldn't have been any good. Yeah. It would have oh, been no. just as good as him. For sure. Uh, it maybe wouldn't have worn the members only jacket as well. But I members only should be ashamed that he had this should. on in this yes, movie, I would say. Be. Why don't think we ever let him show the logo? Maybe they were. They I think were he like, got a subpoena after this. Like, like the Air Force and Iron this. Eagle, they're like, we don't want nope. maybe it was a knockoff. Any part of this? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ryan, what do you got for me? Uh, I went with uh, the Youth for Hitler. Uh, Ed. Ed. <laughs> uh, guys, I went with Ed gently, uh, Richard Domier as well. Domi what? <laughs> That's, I think it's how you say it. Domier? Domier. 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 Well, he Domi Domier. sucks. <laughs> is that who you're picking too? Absolutely. Yeah. Guys, I love this. this oh, great. I love it. I love it. I love it. Uh, Eric Valov also went with Richard Domier. Nice. Ed, he said he added Atta boy. nothing. Nothing. Uh, J.P. Dozier went off the board, though. This is not going to be oh. unanimous. He went with Cassie Wesley as Bobby Joe. Oh, Bobby Joe is great. Lauren didn't like Actually, her either. I really? thought she was awesome. She Bobby swallowed that eyeball perfectly fine. I, I like a bro. <laughs> I thought she was fine. I thought she was good. Yeah. Well, J.P., here's what here's his reason. And he says, look, the instant I knew she might be up for the award was when she failed miserably to spit her chew. We didn't talk about that scene. She's chewing? There was one point where she had chewing tobacco in her mouth, and she tries to like do this tough moment where she spits it and just... Fail. <laughs> That's true. She did well, maybe that. she was trying for the first time. You could tell she had never done it before. Well, maybe that's why she didn't spit the eyeball out. She uh, she just, she just was like, "Do I?" Oh, okay, yeah, maybe. maybe. Is it like chewing tobacco? Do you, <laughs> sometimes you just gut it. <laughs> you just gut it. Just gut it. Do that's I right. spit or do I swallow? Right. <laughs> that's not going. <laughs> <in>. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I appreciate it. No, no. You just do you. you let it, leave it to me. What happens after the fact? Make okay. sure Dana hears it though. Okay, I'll make sure. Um, <laughs> What's what do? Oh, what sealed the deal was when she was running into the woods, screaming her head off, and then instantly stopped and was all calm before the tree took her. 
come on, that was as bad of a transition of emotions as the transition <laughs> from day to night in this movie. It's daytime and then instantly night. That was uh, terrible. Then straight to evening and then instantly back to night. It was like they were trying to pull off that bit from Monty Python when they made fun of the seasons changing and it gave like gave summer a miss and went straight into winter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just confusing. All right, so that's a Bobby Joe a vote. And then lastly, Charlie said, um, oh, let's see. Oh, he went with Annie. The first girlfriend. Oh. The, no, Annie, no, the, the, uh, the girl with the oh, daughter oh, yeah, read, yeah. that read the, that yeah, read the yeah, book. Yeah, okay. Her role was simply to advance the plot, and she couldn't even get that right. Every line she delivered seemed to come just late enough to be unsatisfying, <laughs> like a lukewarm plate of soggy fries when you've already eaten your steak. What little intensity she had when interacting, leaving nothing for the overdubs. The interminable death scene could have brought oh, the interminable death scene could have brought well needed tension to the final confrontation, but instead just felt like a trudge, like walking home in the slush when all the bars have closed and you can't afford a cab. Wow. <laughs> I like this guy. <laughs> Charlie's awesome. She wasn't great. At least half of the words she said were gibberish Necronomicon words, and I didn't have to pay attention <laughs> to it. <laughs> She's a valid choice, I think. <laughs> but ultimately, it doesn't matter because uh, J Richard Domier is going to win. Ed Ed was terrible. Congratulations, Dick. Mr. Uh, hair, Richard, hair Eater. Rich. Yeah, he did his hair. That's pretty committed there. That's right. What if it was like cotton candy that dyed brown? I don't know. Uh, the next award we give out is the Steve James Unsung Hero Award. Who was that person that wasn't in a lead role but made the movie better just by being in it? Like Steve James would always raise the game from a supporting part. Who's your unsung hero of the movie, Charles? Cassie Wesley DePavia. Bobby Joe. Bobby Joe. I like Bobby Joe. I had no problems with Bobby Joe. It was her first movie, I think, too. Was it really? Maybe only, but first, at least. Well, I know she was doing soap stuff, oh, but that's this right. was no, her I first thought she was good. I thought she actually yeah. was uh, was pretty good. Likeable. I, yeah. I was actually like, Annie died, I didn't care. No, you felt Jake bad for Bobby Joe. Jake died, I didn't Joe. care. But I felt bad for Bobby Joe. One of the reasons we probably felt bad for Bobby Joe is that someone actually cared for Bobby Joe. <laughs> no one else. She was the only girl that dies in this movie. They were there like, Oh, we should be sad. Jake right. really was sad. Everybody else dies. Ash is like, oh, I guess she's dead. I'll chop her head, chop her head off. <laughs> yeah, that that for some reason, <laughs> their their yeah. relation felt like their relationship felt like the only real one yeah. in the movie. Yeah, yeah. Isn't that weird. I think yeah. that's why I liked her. Maybe, and but it's the most inexplicable relationship in the movie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Plus, right. she was nice to look at, and, and she, she was pretty. She did a good job. Uh, who you got as your unsung hero award, Ryan? Uh, so I guess it would be Bobby Joe, but it would be what I'd want to see for the like more of is yeah. I want to see them going across the gorge. Yeah. Just no. make that an entire two hour movie. No, you don't <laughs> just play last of you us. You want to walk with the four of them? <laughs> no way, dude. Hey, Lord of the Rings did it. <laughs> yeah. How hard can it Walking be? Walking with the trees. They did a whole movie about it. Uh, all right. So you want Bobby Joe also? Yeah. All right. I'm actually going with Ted Raimi as Henrietta. Oh, um, oh she, I thought she was he great. crushed he, it. He, she, yeah. Well, she is same. It's, it, yeah, sheet. You're also going Ted Raimi. Yeah, because I he was the you need a great villain and he yeah. he delivered. He was the only kind of through line villain through the whole thing too. Yeah, right. That's true. He yeah. I mean he was. That's fair. Yeah. yeah. So all right, we're going into. A I two, didn't two think tie. about the demons. Oh, either. No, it's all good. Yeah, yeah. We'll see what the, if the tie gets the, broken. Those Hauser brothers walk on the dark side. <laughs> 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 we have a yeah. thing for villains. <laughs> uh, so I think. We are going to get a tiebreak here because Eric Valov went Ted Raimi as a boy. You guys have been in lockstep every nice. award. We're lovers, man. What can I say? <laughs> All right. We're writing lovers. Uh, <laughs> and then J.P. Dozier also went Ted Raimi as Henrietta. He says, when I think of Evil Dead, the deadite I instantly think of is possessed Henrietta. Iconic. He did such an amazing job playing her, and he was he was the only other really memorable character next to Ash in this movie. And so that means that ultimately Ted Raimi's nice. going to win. The Unsung Hero Award. Good on you, Ted. If it wasn't for Bruce Campbell, he might have been a Will Patton op option. Uh, oh, I agree, because he was super no, intense. He was very intense. That's why you're so. Uh, yeah. Bob, since you're here, uh, who's going to win the Hot Babe Award as created by Bob Hauser yes. in this movie? Oh, <sighs> I don't you know. got it's, three, four, op three options. I mean, well, Ted Raimi it. was playing <laughs> oh, God. was playing a woman, and that blown out crouch was pretty cool. Yeah, <laughs> uh, it's pretty sexy. That's or, do I go, sweat water. or do I go the Charles route with the dancing ballerina from hell? Well, yeah. see, that's the way. Well, I won't tell you. I shouldn't have said anything. Go ahead. Uh, or is it Bobby Joe? 
or Billy Joe? Was it Bobby? I, Joe? I mean, Bobby I, don't, Joe. I think you got to eliminate Annie personally. I think it's between Bobby Joe and Linda. Bobby Joe, Linda, Linda was pretty attractive. Or Andy, yeah. or Annie, or no, I see. I take Annie off the list immediately. I don't yeah. think Annie. She yeah. was too yeah. like I don't know. She couldn't even speak her Necronomicon words when he really needed her to. I mean, it's our language. She hasn't <laughs> been spoken in seven, eight, nine hundred years. Uh, <laughs> she looked like, like. What are my options? <laughs> would she look like? Oh, she looked like a demon without it, like without them even putting in makeup. <laughs> on. That's true. That's true. I'd say Bobby. Your options are Bobby Joe and Linda. Yeah, uh, Bobby Joe and Linda. I'm gonna go with Bobby Joe. Yeah. All right. Well, this is the first time Eric and you were deviating because he went with Linda. He went with no. Denise Bixler. I thought, so, uh, but I think either of those are valid choices. Yeah. They're, yeah. Pictures on IMDb. I still would say uh, Bobby Joe's a good choice. Bobby Joe. Bobby All Joe's right. Air choice. Five, Charles. Right. Bobby Joe. All right. Air Five looks like Bobby <laughs> Joe is gonna win that. She went on to be a soap opera. So no, she got to look good. Do we need to ask who the Rain Award winner is for this movie? That's Bruce Effin Campbell. That's right. The Chin. The Chin. My guy. Look, we got to meet Bruce Campbell. It was an awesome experience. Absolutely. Bob is the only time I ever still, two times I ever saw him speechless. One of them was with Bruce Campbell. <laughs> <laughs> it was only, what, it was 10 years ago, something like that. Yeah. We walked into this photo op at a Comic Con, and Bruce was like, All right, Daddy O, stand right here on this mark, look this way, and look wow. cool. Yeah. Just look cool. He leaned, he was stood behind us and leaned on the kind of both of our shoulders. Yes. You know. And we took a picture with him, and Bob the whole time said nothing. <laughs> <laughs> it was all me. Thank you, Mr. Campbell. It was nice to meet you. He's like, yeah, guys, have a good time. And he's like, oh, I see your daughters don't want to get in the picture. <laughs> I had my girls with me, and they didn't, well, I didn't know who Bruce Campbell was. And uh, yeah, the man, even even now, he's sexy. So I, we're just going to give the rain award to Bruce Campbell. Unless Absolutely. Unless you think it should be Jake. No. <laughs> okay, just checking. From State Farm. <laughs> All right. The next award we give out is just our three favorite things. It can be actors. It could be performances. It could be dialogue. It could be soundtrack, editing, direction, anything. Anything with a movie. Moments from the film. What are your three favorite things about the Evil Dead, Charles? Okay. My number... Okay. So I've got actually four. So I've got to decide. Okay. That's fine. Uh, you can go four. Actually, I already mentioned four. The fact that there's no sex in a horror movie, I thought it was funny. <laughs> yeah. That's but, hilarious. Uh, I'm going to go... I thought the special effects were well done. They yeah. were very they were entertaining. I I did not find them particularly scary. No. But they were well done. Yes. And and the fact that like the claymation and they're all what do they call that? It's like stop motion physical effects too, not practical like effects. Practical effects. Lots that of was practical very effects. Very impressive. And that yes. was good. So that okay. would be number three. I thought it was interesting how few lines there are in this movie. Yeah. There's not very much actual spoken lines in this movie. Certainly not from Ash. I think the dad had the second most dialogue yeah, and yeah, he's on a not tape. Not much dialogue. So, <laughs> but it's very effective. Like Yeah. Uh, Bruce Campbell's acting's really good and it's mm -hmm. that's really good. And then the dancing scene with his girlfriend, I love that part. That's that awesome. was so great. <laughs> Those are all good that was choices. So great. Well, what about you, Ryan? So, Bruce Campbell would be number 1 just yeah. he was awesome. Yeah. Um I really liked the the not the score, I guess, but the the sound, yeah, the sound was good. As sound the, design, like, the sound design as it lined up to what was happening in the movie was very yes. effective. Yes, and it was just right on the money. Like at like even just we were talking about him running with the camera over his head, right. that it wouldn't have been worked without the the sound they added to yes. it. Even even the fight, like when he's when his hand grabs his face for the first time, it's all sound design. All the noises and the scratching and everything makes yep. it seem more treacherous than it is. Yes, exactly. It's really just him grabbing his own face. Yeah, it was great. All right. Well, that sound, that the demon. Oh, sorry. No, oh, no, no, go ahead. The sound the demons made is actually Sam Raimi's voice in part of Orson Welles. Oh, for real? Wow. And, a, and the IMDb said, in a sense, then you could say this was Orson Welles' last movie. I think he, <laughs> he was dead by then. But I don't know. I don't understand what sound it. he's making to make that sound because it was a very unique sound. They just warped his audio, probably, yeah, I would I don't assume. Know. Yeah. yeah. What's your uh, third thing? Then third thing, I guess, would be um, probably the chainsaw. Chain, yes, ah, yeah, the chainsaw, yes, iconic and great. I don't um, know how he started it with his teeth. Yeah, <laughs> impressive. You I noticed went with, he went to a pull though. He decided maybe he just did once with that, the teeth the was enough. Like, that hurt. <laughs> uh, I went with Sam Raimi's direction. I think the way he directed this movie, the visual flair, it wasn't boring. He took big swings, which all things I advocate for all the time in movies. I'm like just. Just go for it. Do things that people haven't done before. He, 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 you see a Sam Raimi movie, and it doesn't look like any other movie. You're like, even like in the Doc Ock scene, yeah, in Spider Man, Spider -Man 2. Two, 
looks like something from Evil Dead with yeah. the quick cuts and the the arms going around and getting people. And I'm like, you know, you're watching a Sam Raimi movie. And I did like I Doc that. Ock in those movies. Yeah, it was, it was great. Cool. So that's my first thing, Bruce. And the second thing is Bruce's performance, but specifically his commitment to just being like, I'll do whatever you ask me to do, yeah. and go 100. percent Love that about this movie. And then to me, it's the iconic dialogue, uh, which you're right, there is very few. But the I'll swallow your soul, swallow this. Groovy, all that stuff. Yeah. I love it. It's fantastic. Those are my three favorite things. Bob, uh, pretty much going to piggyback all off of all three of you guys. Yeah. Like, um, you pretty much all nailed nailed everything great about this movie. So yeah, Bruce Campbell, Sam Raimi's direction, the creativity, the production design, everything. Like everything was a plus to me. Awesome. It was so good actually that that JP Dozier handed out a Thomas Thomas Technical Achievement Award, which we started. Uh, well, we put it out there during Breaker Breaker. If someone ever wants to give one out, they can, because the uh, the technical guy in that name was Thomas Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> so JB just says this whole movie, the shots, the makeup, the claymation, the practical effects are all amazing. They did a better job making this movie than most higher budgeted films ever will are willing to do. So that's high praise coming in there from JP Dozier. But the top three favorite things. So Eric said it was Sarah Barry who played Annie. He liked her a lot. Ted Raimi and Bruce Campbell. Uh, J.P. Dozier said, give me Denise Bixler as Linda at number three, <laughs> then Ted Raimi and Bruce Campbell again, the mm. top two spots. And then Charlie said, he gave Ash his hand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <All the spots. laughs> he said, the Tom and Jerry chase was hilarious. I yes. genuinely burst out laughing when it flipped yes, Ash that off. that was funny too. <laughs> I gotta love a movie where a yeah. dude has to shoot his own hand down with a 12 gauge. <laughs> uh, gave Bruce Campbell his second spot, makes the movie what it is. None of this is possible without him. He can laugh duet a moose head, <laughs> fight to the death with his own hand, get pulled through a set of stairs by a witch, and not, not a second of it is boring or out of place. And the one-liners, it, become, it, it becomes a cult classic, but that chainsaw montage, as if replacing his hand was an F and, with an effing chainsaw wasn't enough, he <laughs> tops it off with a zoom in all the way to groovy. Yeah. That was good. And the number one, Charles, see? He goes, the stop-motion dancing demon Lin uh, Nice, Linda. yes. Not Very an actor, nice. but definitely a performance. Creepy and hilarious. Yes. Perfect kickoff to the second part of the movie, setting up the eerie yes. horror comedy that makes it a masterpiece. Like Bruce Campbell foreshadowing Jim Carrey. Sam Raimi lays the groundwork that Tim Burton would build a career upon with the stop motion. These are, this was a year before Beetlejuice. So hmm. Yes, this was 87. Oh, wow. From Charlie Francois. Francois. Yeah. I think I think this movie is it stands on its own as a very unique, not a car and copy or a cut or, or a copy of anything, but it's not as good as it could have been. I think there's only one way you could have made this movie better. Do you know how? Yes. Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> <laughs> not as it, now you don't touch Ash Williams. You can't make Arnold into Ash Williams. Mm -hmm. That is a Bruce Campbell thing. But imagine if Henrietta was Arnold Schwarzenegger mm. in the basement. Absolutely. Right? I swallow your soul. And he comes out, and he's dressed like an old woman, so his head comes out, and he's like, hello, I'm a, I'm a witch in the, <laughs> in the basement. You know what I mean? And, but then when he comes out, and it's just he's just freaking ripped as he comes out of the dirt. <laughs> and Bruce, that would make even more sense, but Bruce was like, get me out of here. <laughs> hello, I'm here. I'll swallow your soul. <laughs> dead by dawn. Dead by dawn. <laughs> <laughs> and only Bruce Campbell will be allowed to blow off uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger's head. <laughs> dude, and then they could have had like a fight. Oh, dude, it would have been great. Would have been awesome. I mean, walls, that cabin would not be standing. <laughs> <laughs> what if they just used Arnold's body for the dancing scene with Linda? <laughs> <laughs> or you know, his hand. But it's still Linda's now, head. I think Arnold, I think Arnold uh, could have been the giant face. Dude, you could you imagine? <laughs> yeah, that'd be great. That'd be perfect. If we recite the first passage, then it turns the evil into flesh, and when you finally see it, it's just, I see you. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just him going, ah, that big, <laughs> creepy smile that he does. In the, you ever see him do those Japanese commercials oh, yeah. where it's like that extreme close-up and he like looks like a psychopath? <laughs> <laughs> but just through the door, I It'd be incredible, dude. Yeah, or Ed. Or <laughs> There's a Jaws shirt out there. It just says Arnold on it. There's Arnold, a, is it really? Yeah, there's a Jaws shirt. It's a Jaws poster, and it has the girl swimming in it, except it says Arnold, and there's Arnold 1977 doing that. Oh. <laughs> Bubbles coming out of his mouth. I've got to get that shirt, That's dude. Perfect. That's awesome. Eric said he wants him to be the dad's voice on the tape. 
<laughs> oh, that'd be good. Okay, listen, I'm going to read out of this book, <laughs> and nothing bad is going to happen <laughs> because I am your daddy, and this is what I do. <laughs> <laughs> Be awesome. <laughs> Sorry. Those are not the words. Or or no Austrians have ever unleashed anything evil on the world. <laughs> You're that's, safe. That's true. That's what I do. Ed would be like, can you play that a little louder? It'd be the first time in history <laughs> that an Austrian has ever caused any harm to the world. Uh, JP said he needs to be all the all of the demonic entities. When someone becomes possessed, they just turn into Arnold. Arnold. That'd, That'd be, be cool. All of a sudden, Ash is Arnold whenever he's possessed? No, Ash can't get turned into Arnold. That's what makes Arnold mad. Oh. oh. Yeah, see, I you like turn it. into oh. me. I like it. I want your chin. That's I want a doll. <laughs> that's why he's after him. It's the only part of his body that's more defined than Arnold. Yeah. yeah. It's the chin. Chin. He's got the whole package except the chin. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he wants the jawline. You I can't it. have it, baby. That's right. <laughs> he does look kind of like one of them skeleton things. <laughs> he could have played Skeletor. Dude, I was just going to say. <laughs> Could you imagine Bruce Campbell as Skeletor? Versus Dolph Lundgren? Oh, yeah. that's something that needed to happen. Yeah. All right, well, look, ultimately, we have to make our final determination here, guys. We have watched Evil Dead 2. We've gone through it. We have to decide. Is this overrated? I, I think people would expect us to say, given the ratings, that it's a good movie. But bad movie and bad movie that rules are still on the table. Maybe... The hype has just built over the years, and it's not actually living up to its reputation. I mean, it's up to you guys to decide. Do you think, or what do you think the final rating is for you, Charles, for Evil Dead 2? Okay, so I was uh, I was going to say this earlier, then I forgot, and so I mm-hmm. moved it to here. But I, one of the things I thought was really interesting in this, because we talked, we alluded a couple times to, was he dreaming? Was this really happening? Yeah. There's some shots sort of in the middle to the last part of the movie where the camera's moving through the house. There's all this noise, and... And it gave the gave it this sense of sort of manic, chaotic. Uh, that's not even. It's almost like. And I thought, was this? Is this like? Is this like a metaphor for like schizophrenia or oh. PTSD or like losing your mind? Yeah. Something like that. Because it <laughs> felt like that a lot of times in this. Well, certainly like the. Uh, deer talking. The deer yes, talk. the deer I mean, that was really out there. I mean, it, <laughs> yeah, you're like, and that was even different effect than like the demon people yes. thing. It was really weird. And I think there were some things that had nothing to do with yeah. the demons that were happening. Yeah, then. and then coming through the mirror and all that, yeah. right? So, yeah. uh, I don't think that's what they were going for. But I think, nonetheless, <laughs> you could probably. Re- and I, the other reason I, was gonna, I think uh, I think the reason Stephen King probably really liked this is he yeah. was. Off his mind on drugs and coke <laughs> and alcohol, probably at this stage, I think, in his writing career. So yeah, he's like, the same oh, year. this is so awesome. I we think this. this is the same year as Maximum Overdrive. 84, maybe? Yeah, yeah. that's when they, 87, they made this. Yeah. So, yeah. So yeah, yeah. maybe that's why he liked Those are all good notes. It could be. I, I do have good movie down. Okay. But it's interesting what you just said before that. Yeah. Because my son watched this with me yeah. and my wife, and he's like, I didn't think it was that good. So it was kind of boring and slow. <sighs> and I was like, really? That's interesting. Hmm. And. Am I going to change it from good movie? I don't think I can say it's bad. Right. I did sort of at the end of the movie go, it was a movie. It was fun. Yeah. Uh, I think I think the hype maybe got me. I'm going to go bad movie with rules. All right. That's fair. I'm I not... think I'm going to go that because yeah. I didn't find it very, I thought they were trying to be really intense and scary. Yeah. Maybe. But the humor part and like the, all the demon stuff was so over, right. like the blown out crotch and stomach, <laughs> and Henrietta, and the long neck, and, yeah. and the way, uh, what's his name's, uh, Ed's face looked all, you know. Yes, it was like up. It was like scary, but not, it was like overly, I didn't, well, I mean. I yeah, it's, I guess it's hard to know here, exactly but, without talking to Sam himself, and yeah. I'm sure he said this before, and I just I don't know yeah. of it. It depends partially on what he was trying to accomplish. Right. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So, so I, I'm, I'm going to go bad movie rules. All I mean, right. I think it, obviously there's a ton of stuff in this, and I think it was a predecessor to a lot of this type of stuff. Yeah, and, and it was. I do think the special, the practical effects were amazing. I'll, I'll take practical all day. Over. And I really like Bruce Campbell's scream acting. That was really <laughs> great. So. My favorite acting of his is when he is his reaction to the bridge being out. Yes. That's that's my favorite take <laughs> of him. Just his pure reaction. It's, fantastic. it's a good reaction. It's good stuff. Yeah. All right. So, uh, Doc, where are you at, Madela? So I think um, I think I can't say this is a like a properly good movie, mm-hmm. um, but I don't I don't mean that I love this movie like a lot. I just think that with the way it was done, there was 
like some tongue in cheek with it. Yeah. And I think that it's it's a bad movie that rules as hard as it possibly can. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> All right. That's fair. I, I like how you put that. Yeah. I For me, I th- and this is the beauty of this, is it's so subjective. And so the way you view it is really going to determine the outcome. And so for me, I think personally, they s- accomplished exactly what they set out to do in this, the movie that they wanted to make. So it's hard. This is just the way I viewed it. I could even be wrong. So for me personally, I think Sam at the end of the day looked at this and went, nailed it. Like I think this is exactly what he wanted. And then that's the objective piece of it, right? So good job, Sam. And then then there's a piece of it, well, did I enjoy it, right? Which I did. I loved it. So for those two reasons, I'm going straight up good movie. Nice. Bob? Straight up good movie. Let's go. All right. Hey, two rules the movie, and two good. The movie speaks for itself. Yeah. Fair I enough. do think he That's made fair. the movie he wanted. I yeah. wouldn't disagree yeah. with that. Yeah. But can I add a counterpoint to that? No, please. We can talk about it. Yeah. I got a lot of grief over DOA. Yeah. And I would say <laughs> that the person who made that made exactly what they were going for. I don't agree at all with that <laughs> statement. Oh, you don't think DOA so? DOA no. was nothing but spank bank. <laughs> That's D- the yeah. only reason that thing was created. I, I, I think given what they cut out of it, because they cut out a ton. I think there was a lot of interference from the video game company, I think from the studio itself. I don't think what the final product was was what the director wanted. Interesting. Okay. So, personally. Mm. But yeah. All right. So, well, we got two rules, two good. Let's see what the patrons had to say about this one. Uh, here's what Eric said. Eric Valov, this is a good movie. It's fun, kind of spooky, while not a true horror like Friday the 13th or more serious kind of monster flicks. Stands up well from a story perspective. As a sequel or a standalone, it works. The physical comedy and skill of Bruce Campbell is amazing. The kitchen scene was not only 100% improvised, but done in one take. He carries the film at times. He is the only one in the scene. It's like him or with a puppet or something added in post. And like a third of the movie, it's just him alone in the cabin. And the special effects are dated, but the practical effects are amazing. It's a perfect balance between horror of the first movie and the -the over-the-top campiness of Army of Darkness. Bob, you are a human equivalent of a participation trophy, Eric Valov. I love how how he just has to throw a jab in. Uh, It's like this super positive review. And then at the last second, he's like, I got you. Yeah, you mentioned me in the same paragraph as Bruce Campbell. That was your fault. Yeah, it works, right? (laughs) I'll take it. I'll take it. Thank you. Love back to you. what it's worth, if I got a trophy that looked like you for participation, I'd be very happy. (laughs) (laughs) I'd be like, woo, I'm pretty cool. Uh, Exactly. Well accomplished. I like it. Oh, dude, you just gave me a chub. Thank you. <laughs> JP Dozier said, this is a good movie. Uh, even though some of the actors are not the best, that's an understatement, uh, <laughs> Bruce Campbell makes this movie great. Ash is such an iconic character for all horror movie fans that you could never see anyone else play him but Bruce Campbell. That's true. Uh, take no. a break from what he's saying. Even in the remakes, they don't even try to put Ash no. Williams. No. They're like... We're going to remake Evil Dead, and they're, they, even they know we're just doing a different story. They'll, do, they'll put his accessories. They'll put a chainsaw in there. They'll right. put a shotgun in there. They'll do all that right. stuff, but they'll never, ever, ever no. put Bruce Campbell in there. And in an industry that like almost nothing is sacred, right. the fact that even these Hollywood slugs know enough to go, we can't touch this, yeah. right. they'll well, never recast him. I think it's owned by Sammy and Bruce. I think yeah. they own the rights to Evil Dead. They'll never recast him. Yeah. Are I they, mean... Are the remakes more straight horror Yeah, movies? oh, they're yeah. straight up scary horror. They're produced by both of them. Like, they both yeah. uh, had a hand in the creative process of both the, right. the new Evil okay. Dead films. All right, so back to what he was saying. He's saying, uh, all the practical effects used fit so well with the style of the movie. Movie is one of my top horror films to watch, and and can even be enjoyed or slash tolerated by non horror movie fans because it's that mixture of horror and comedy that can be tolerated. And I'll agree with JP. I don't like horror movies. I watch this because to me it's more of a slapstick comedy with horror elements, and so to me it doesn't. I don't get the ick factor nearly as much as I do watch. Yeah, I would movie. agree with that. You should see James' reaction when he was watching Rob Zombie's Halloween. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Michael busses, busses through the bathroom hallway and just starts running. And James grabs him and goes, he can run? <laughs> I thought he only won. I thought he only won. <laughs> In every other movie, he just walks. Yeah. Right? You watched the original recently. Yeah. And he just walks. Every, yeah, he just walks. Or teleports. He can <laughs> run? <laughs> then Rob Zombie's like, no, nah, he can run. <laughs> 
All right, finally, Charlie Francois said, Evil Dead 2 is a good movie. I just love this one because it's so much fun. Short, hilarious, not a second to get bored, unless you're Eli Hewitt, apparently. Yeah. Uh, would not, it's not a rip on Eli. I think... Millennials or whatever he is. There's, I, don't, I would be interested to see what younger people would think of this movie. Maybe that would be more of a common thread Might be. between well, them. Probably got to check out the new Evil Dead, then. Yeah. That's Maybe. probably more up their alley. Maybe. Uh, it's a cool dopamine rush that goes far beyond what it set out to do. Love it. Could watch it anytime. But I'll add the more educated words of my producer wife. If you remember, Charlie Francois' wife is a film producer. Nice. Here's what she says. The camera was incredible. Cut from a spinning top shot to shooting from the floor to chasing the hero in first-person view. All the angles and effects that have become part of the common language of cinematography today. The visual grammar is so rich and none of it is out of place. It all perfectly serves the story. This film is a precursor. And then uh, Charlie goes, she lost me at visual grammar. <laughs> <laughs> but I think it's, no, no, it, the, the, I think I know what she means by it that. It is interesting because there were yeah. a few shots that actually I noticed going, wow, that's an interesting shot. Yeah. And it does create its almost own language, yes. and that's why I said why his movies are so identifiable immediately. Yeah. And it, I think it's it is saying things visually yes, without yes. speaking. I would agree with that. I think through the woods for sure, like yeah. the, it hunting him down. I think yeah. I don't. It's pretty early where the he the angles kind of down on him in the room. Yes, that's a very evocative image. Yes, yeah. and so, fantastic. So, would, go ahead. I would just say if I was a, if I was an actor and I had a choice between. Brad Pitt's career or Bruce Campbell's career, I would take Bruce Campbell's career. He certainly seems to have had a blast doing Because he looks doing. like, I mean, he's out of the limelight of yeah. garbage, you know. He's not he, getting followed around by photographers. Right. Yeah. And he has this <laughs> cult following of fans that just love and adore him. And he's a cool dude. Right. I'm not saying Brad Pitt's not a cool dude. I'm just saying, like. I do think it's a travesty he didn't have. I think as one of them had said, and I don't remember which one, and I apologize. Maybe career. it was Charlie. But I, I, I. He should have had more of a career, I feel like. I know this was a very specific type performance, but Bruce showed in some of his other projects, he doesn't always have to have it dialed up to 12. No. You know, and it's capable of doing other stuff. He was pretty chill in McHale's Navy, and he was right. he was good in McHale's Navy. That's right. Oh, that's right. This is our second Bruce Campbell movie. Yeah. Well, even when he went and did, uh, it was much later, but when he did Burn Notice, yes. he, he played it super straight. I mean, he, he was Sarcastic. Funny. Yeah, sarcastic right. and funny, but he was... He did great just acting like an ex-military guy. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's what I'm saying. And so, he really pulled that off. I wish Bruce had had more of a chance to get some bigger parts. And and I, even it took like his buddy Sam directing Spider-Man to get the cameos in the Spider-Man movies. <laughs> you know what I mean? The French the French waiter. The, or the, the French boy host. spider. What is, I don't yeah. know, that oh, sucks. The ring announcer at the wrestling that's event. That's right. He was ring announcer for Spider-Man. I would guard it with me life, monsieur. That's right. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, look, we're on to next week. And because we are in the midst of spooky season, we got a couple more Halloween themed episodes. And next week, we're going to have Charles back in here again because we're talking about who we talked about a few times in this episode a Jim Carrey movie, Once Bitten. Once Bitten is next week. Something that won our Patreon poll. I know you were thrilled about yes, that. I voted. You, this is your first time getting to yes. vote. Did you vote for Once I Bitten? I voted for Once Bitten. There we go. Isn't this one of the vampire movies where all the chicks try to bite them in the crotch? Yes. This, this is, uh, this I think, is sexy Gina Davis. I think we should Laura, do a watch party. Laura, <laughs> is that what I mean? Brad was like, watch party. Let's do this. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go right now. <laughs> it's it's definitely got like a like that type of 80s vibe to it. For, I've never seen it. I'm, I'm judging this off there's the There's a couple of scenes I still remember from that. Oh, perfect. Yeah, I'm very excited. <laughs> so we'll talk about <laughs> Not that way. Next week. We'll talk so you're going to be watching I mean, this in the bedroom with your wife then? Yeah, maybe. I, I think Melissa day, said she does love this movie. I think she might like this one too. Because I think she commented on one of the posts. I think uh, it's a funny movie. That, that it's fun. I'm excited to see it. I didn't know Jim Carrey had a career before Ace Ventura until later on in life. Yeah, no, he's you know, that he was doing movies in the mid 80s and stuff. Living like, Color. And, I thought uh, he launched out of Living Color into the movies, but he had a couple of chances. He was in Earth Girls Are Easy. Once that's a good bit. one. Yeah, I he like was even one. in a he was even in a Dirty Harry movie. Yeah, Deadpool. Deadpool. Yeah, he played the rock Harry. star. Yeah, <laughs> he played this uh, guy OD'd, I think, didn't yep. he? Yeah, OD'd or Rocks. He was in like one or two scenes, but uh, yeah, so I'm excited to talk about that one and to watch it because I've never seen it and I love Jim Carrey. So we'll be talking about our second Jim Carrey movie next week. So nice. join two us weeks in a row of me that might be too I, much, dude. It's the perfect amount. I don't know, man. <laughs> I didn't actually know it was up next week. So thanks oh, for yeah, telling no, me. No, I'm problem. Like, All right. <laughs> no problem. Uh, so yeah, October. Hold on, it's already in the middle of it. Never mind. I'm not. I'll, 
cut that out. So, yeah, join us next week. In the meantime, on behalf of Bob Hauser and Charles Hewitt and Ryan Madela, I'm James Hauser. Thank you for listening. Yes. Start up your chainsaw. Evil's coming. If there is an evil book, don't read it. Put it away. (laughs) Give it to your neighbor. (laughs) Yeah, let him read it. Especially if his dog barks a lot. (laughs) It's the middle of the night. You hear from next door, dead by dawn, dead by dawn. (laughs) They must be having a party. (laughs) Wake up my wife. It worked, honey. The dog's going to be gone. Go outside to get the mail, not pay attention. <laughs> Dogs eating the mailman. That's right. <laughs> oh, What's his name? <laughs> they don't even have to be possessed to do that. Don't worry, I he doesn't bite. I gotta pee. Yeah. <laughs>